Can't do me a favor. Can't do me a favor. Suck your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, people, welcome back to the Fix Podcast. Yo, that sound like it. it, it that look like it's stingy. Yeah, right? I don't. just said to myself, said it's a trap. Me just said to myself, said I don't know why when I take nothing serious, like. Uh, when I when I take nothing serious, wow, well, well. it's been a it's a been an eventful week. It's been week. an uneventful six days, uneventful. It's nothing an... has happened, nothing has occurred. Mm-hmm. It's been pretty boring. Really? Yeah. I guess. Yeah. If you live on a rock or do have any <laughs> social media, I guess. Yo, with that, I would just play Ellie. Um, you you, you man, beanie. Like did I clash and go at it? You heard that? I knew that they're. I knew. I know that they're not friends. Yeah, but like I, apparently they put out this song for one another. I I saw I saw that I saw this track that Ellie put out. I didn't listen to it all of it. I saw I heard a snippet of it, but I didn't listen mm. all of it. But yeah, um, I know that I remember one time something like Beanie Man must have said something for ear mm. and Elephant Man saw it and respond the week after so yeah 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 nobody wasn't here for that not not in a 2018 yeah because that was years ago i actually yeah. thought they buried the hatchet so yeah, when i saw nobody. this like them say i'm wondering if these people just spin it as you know elephant man this bone but i heard the beanie. songs i heard them so they're out there but oh like, you think that is a diss really give a shit. yeah you think he's a diss it was a diss them call up each other name oh like, really being a boy like from Ding Dong come on the scene and I'm like, yeah. I didn't listen Nobody to it. Know. You want millions of. <laughs> to hours, be honest, yeah. I never really think that being him, um, not being man, Elephant Man did these songs. I didn't think that was in his vein. So that seemed like a work though. Maybe yeah. a sting time, sting a rejuvenate. Yeah. So maybe that seemed like a work. Speaking mm-hmm. of though, um, and it's kind of unfortunate that this may. I've been the catalyst for that to just stop. Mm-hmm. But um, R.I.P. Elephant Man Mother. Mm. Like she yeah, died. just, yeah. Recently, so R.I.P. In the midst of it. Jamaican people, we see somebody coming upon Jamaican R.I.P. Miss Yuvan. Jamaican people, I swear. You're going to take nothing that serious. Dumb, but, but <laughs> in all seriousness, um, condolences out to Elephant Man and his family right now. Yeah. Um, most of mm. to lose a mom on you know i don't even want to think about that yeah i don't want to think about my especially mother. my my mom nowadays yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i thought it's been an une- uneventful week for you an arrow yeah mm. let's get into the shit shall we mm-hmm. it's your boy nara here with ari big up who we'll forget big up shout out who we'll forget shout out I know why you savages are here, so let's talk about it. No. Are you supposed to like, interview me? Uh, yeah, I was going to go with that, <laughs> but you know, you're like, you just love being control. Like, you know, like to relinquish go control go to ahead. a woman. Is it because I am black? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, all right. 
I, I guess the, the the as you said, we all know why people are going to be tuning into us right now. Um, yeah. And and shout out to to new viewership. Mm-hmm. There'll be some of you that are are surprised at at how we do our thing. Mm-hmm. But this is the usual modus operandi. Mm-hmm. Shout out to all new members of Fix Nation. Yes, we're not saints here. <laughs> and I think. All people, all people in the fix. They know. They know. And they appreciate. They appreciate. Like real fix Nation fans, they, they know us. They know us. They know us. But to yeah. some people who are coming here expecting something. Some sort of civility. You and... know, that's, that's not really us. <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden, we're being called professional. professional. Now, Just last week, they must say, I'm in a professional yeah, coming to about my period. <laughs> <laughs> a week before last. <laughs> and now we're a model... I think more you, more you than anything mm-hmm. else. So the the elephant in the room or the blue elephant in the room mm-hmm. is that um you know last week you had a, a encounter with um the queen of stage herself. Mm-hmm. Um, she before we continue. Um, you see, you can't make me. No, because the show told me for show told um at least. Oh no, oh no, some priest still. So let me show told the priest them. No. So you are one priest, sorry. Um, you left me there hanging. Um, um, and the initial priest, Chabas, who, who told us to go. So we have some priests. Because all we go on, we did a contemplate like, should we go? And I was looking to, to Chabas for some real advice, and he said, go. But who was there saying? Who was there saying? Who was there saying what? If you look at me. Mm. <laughs> All right. He was there saying that it's a trap. Mm-hmm. Trap is a trap. did. He's a it's priest. It's a trap. He's a priest. He's a priest. Look at yourself, though, Chabas. Um, for all the people, them who are, who are a cuss of trap, because there are some stupid people out there. You know, stop it, no, please. Stop it. And for all the people, them out there wondering, um, we did do a video the other day talking about um, Vibes Cartel and how he manipulates dancer and how, you know, it's a work for the most part. Um, in that explanation, I forgot to mention what a shoot is. So a shoot is when it's actually real. It's not the performer trying to manipulate the audience, it's real. Okay, so for the few people out there that I see that say, oh, a spy song, night a nightly fix plan, this and all these things. No. I wish you did. <laughs> I wish you were in on it. It's not a work. <laughs> At least in, in, in regards to us planning anything. I don't know if it's a work on her part mm-hmm. to promote her album. Mm-hmm. We'll get into all of that later, but yes, we did not plan all of this, mm-hmm. right? So let's just get that out of the way. Again, big up to, to Chabas and, and, and Ari. We'll have that clip already. They betrayed me. They didn't keep their promise. They tricked me and I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You're tearing me apart, Lisa. <laughs> First of all, mm-hmm. I told you not to go. <laughs> Second of all, I was right there beside you, okay? And for those who are asking, our videographer was the one to say that one and a half ago, because it's not like the two when yeah, the no, one mic... Yeah, no, no one mic. I only one mic have, and it's yeah. not share one mic between the three. Same thing happened with the Beres thing, and yeah. we saw when we did a couple of other interviews, the first one we did with Kabaka, that was an issue. Yeah. So, you know, we have a rule now to just only do one. Mm-hmm. Um, and flip the coin... And there was no coin flipping. I knew I had to be the one to do it. Um, yeah. Because yeah, Ari we felt, flipped a coin. <laughs> I guess. Ari very much felt uncomfortable being at the event in the first place because mm-hmm. she, as in a here, her express all the time before so she thought it may have been a trap. Mm-hmm. We went there fully knowing that it may possibly be a trap, but mm-hmm. we went there anyways. Mm-hmm. So, First of all, it was a very good event. It was like Spice put on a very good show. Mm-hmm. Her, um, you know, she sang a couple songs for the 
she premiered two videos, Romantic Mood, which was my one of my favorite songs off the album, Ita mm-hmm. Fiesta. Um, Fiesta, which me. I think is the big, biggest song, on, the best yeah. song on the mixtape. On the mixtape. Slash tape. album. Um, you know, and she, you know, she she did a little press conference, like, firing up a Trump for, you know, you know, questions, like, feel, reporters feel questions, like, mm. she did that. So that was, she gave that a nice international flair. You know, her performance, again, I've always said that, that Spice is a consummate performer, mm. and she really did a good job, and, um, yeah, it's just sad that what happened after kind of took away from that, but, Yeah. It was a good I it was a good event. I enjoy it. I've always mm. said that Spice is a really good performer. And, As um, have I. And I'm glad that I was able to see her in c- color, live and living color. Mm-hmm. And you know, she put on a really good show. She did. Mm-hmm. And I too can echo your sentiments. Mm-hmm. As I'd planned to say to her to her face. Which she did. I think I got it out somehow. Mm-hmm. That and this then, is a big event and mm-hmm. you know. We're there and I, and I really had to look back and, and really pray and say, yo, like man or woman, my, there's no dancer artist really putting on or, or, or keeping these type of events like on this type of level. Mm-hmm. You know, like you really have to give her props when you really mm-hmm. look back and say like, she probably spent like at least two million our money to put on that event. And she na, she na have no, she she said it there. She na have no um management. Mm. There's no big label backing her, so yeah. it's all her own. She and I guess a couple other people. I'm ass- I'm assuming, mm. but it's really all her. Spice official entertainment. That's her official. Um, I guess production label that she's going with i don't know what you call it yeah. it's a label yeah spice official entertainment that that's who distributed her that's the company her uh, company that's pushing this mixtape mm-hmm. so yeah okay so we can talk about <clears throat> the blue elephant in the room i guess i guess the, the events leading up to it mm-hmm. okay all right so we went there i if you saw what i had on i was dressed for combat, really. I was just like Neo in the Matrix. As I'm um, going to print here, anything can go on. Mm-hmm. Um, you yourself was expressed discomfort mm-hmm. being at the event. Why? Just you can say it. I and mean, tell the people I mean, I kind of feel like I have really good intuition and this mm. kind of just confirm it. Um, I mean, I, w- I wasn't expecting, like, you know, you, you think of the worst case scenario. And I'm always like, I'm such a pessimist. I'm thinking of the worst case scenario. I'm thinking, like, I thought it was, I thought maybe we'll go and they're going to be like, no, you're not there. And, you know, like, you're not invited. Go away. Mm. <laughs> Some, something like that. Um, um, I was, I was, again, on that scenario, I thought that there was going to be an encounter, but not to that magnitude. I mean, I, mean, I, I yeah. went there expecting anything, but yeah. the most I thought that would happen is that we try to interview and she shame and, and like ignore it. Yeah. And we catch that on camera, that would be good content. Yeah. 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 But, you know, it's just intuition. Yeah. Intuition. I don't, It. I had it, I had it early in the year with some personnel with us. Yeah. Um. I told you. I didn't know. I knew it was going to end badly. And, you know, it ended badly. Mm. You know. <laughs> Cause you, you kind of start looking at things, you know. You don't Many really miss. people t- think about it's our relationship and that we're together and that we broke up and whatever. Right. <laughs> but, um, no. <laughs> our it's relationship. Our relationship. Mm. No, but, you know, it's. if You, you, you kind of pick up certain little things. Mm-hmm. And I try to push back my intuition more while but i think this just confirmed that i need to listen to the gut it's a big gut thanks so, to kfc <laughs> with all that but, being said yeah. what was the vibe like when we got there you know it was good for the most part mm-hmm. it was like well I, well for me because i was pretty much hidden you know me not me not enough of myself you know me not take shame good <laughs> i do not take shame well so um so i was pretty much hidden and mm. you know kind of to the back um 
but I, I saw things and yeah but the, it, it, it wasn't a bad vibe I would it's not like no body see me and like that yeah. like it wasn't nothing like that like let me be clear it wasn't nothing like that mm-hmm. no because again I was not in I did not put myself in that position yeah so yeah I was the person putting myself in positions why for that <laughs> <laughs> you're 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 a soldier mm. so speaking you mentioned um about the first media mm-hmm. right interaction where, right that she had. so she had kitty host um kitty was a host the mc for the, the event miss kitty mm-hmm. um and she asked reporters to come to the front and spice would come out on a, a throne like um chair a very high chair and um she sit down as the queen as she is and and the have, media was looking up at her like peasants yeah <laughs> and you know like miss kitty she would feel the questions and have the reporter ask the questions and spice answered so she was, was a moderator a, i think it was a, a somebody a part of spice's team i think it's um tyra Kai. i don't know i didn't hurt the, the name yeah yeah this case but she yeah she knew herself she, she was bald yeah and um uh, yeah Mm-hmm. So, um, but Miss Kitty was the one that moderated. Was and was controlling really yeah. my quint and yeah. stuff. So she posted that mm-hmm. on her Instagram. Pice posted it on her Instagram. It's funny because in that situation, I was there to ask a question, and for some reason or another, I didn't get to ask that question that I wanted to ask. And if I did, what happened later on wouldn't have happened at all. If I just get to ask that question in that moment, for some reason or another, I don't know if it was because of the MC or not, but for some reason or another, when it was my turn to ask a question, all of a sudden it was the fans' turn mm-hmm. to ask a question. I found that peculiar. I won't dwell on it though. Mm-hmm. Um, so from there on, our girl, um, whose name escapes me, who's a part of Spice's team, told me that, you know, you're going to get your five minute exclusive and stuff. Mm-hmm. All right. Cool. Mm-hmm. So we're there um, enjoying the rest of the performance mm-hmm. until it ended. In between performances, we got to talk to Pam Pute. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and we filmed this too. So I was there talking to Pam Pute and, you know, the action about how she feel about her friend's event and, you know, the event on a whole. And Pais passed us. And while she was passing, I was saying to Pam Pute, um, you think you can use your, your friendly influence and have her come talk to us now? And she said, sure, fine. So when she was passing, you know, she was like, sis, sis, come, come, come to the interview, come. So she saw me. Mm-hmm. Saw us. Mm-hmm. Me and Pampita and she's like, yeah man, yeah man, me soon, soon far. Mm-hmm. So she saw me in that instance. Um, which made later events rather peculiar as well. Skip past that now. Event is done. Great event. Great performances. When I time she did perform capture and I feel like it was a gospel event. Like I felt like giving my soul to me. Yeah, she was she got emotional yeah, she did. during that one. Yeah. yeah. Can I understand why? Because it was VP and Yeah, it's it's it sound like it sounded like it's an underlying song mm-hmm. to VP. Like yeah. Mm-hmm. She has said she captured on the sex of VP. Mm-hmm. Event is over. Um that's time when the press got to get their one on ones with her. Mm-hmm. How long were we there for? A long while, <laughs> but like probably like an hour, two hour, up to two, maybe, two hours, up to two, yeah, because up to yeah, it was a long while, yeah, and we were the last one. Mm-hmm. When you got the opportunity you now, mm-hmm. narrow to go to speak to her, um, how are you feeling when you went in there? Because you had list, you had prepared questions, because. Yeah. I mean, we got the opportunity to speak to her. We got the, the chance, the five-minute interview, as was promised. And, you know, you got the opportunity to sit down in front of her. What were you feeling? How what were you feeling? Um, There was a sort of build-up of, of anticipation because even when it was um 
time to walk to go into the boot is like you could feel it from people around and they was like, oh no nah, you see me I want you to say oh that star you now nah, I must say no nah, see, see the star here so like anticipation could have built was building up mm-hmm. even outside of myself mm-hmm. so I had my questions in mind I'm like okay I'm just gonna ask her questions and and, and mm-hmm. be out and mm-hmm. seeing that she saw me mm-hmm. before mm-hmm. I'm thinking that you know she knows that we're there mm-hmm. So I was surprised that when we entered, she's like, who, which, which media is this? Mm-hmm. It's almost like she was trying to pull a Marvin the Beast, mm-hmm. in a sense. I found funny. And like uh, the PR person says, it's not the fix. Mm-hmm. In my mind, I'm like, you see our logo <laughs> on the mic and you saw me before. So yeah. I don't get why this you're asking this. Oh, yeah. I'm on from there on out what transpired, transpired. You didn't go in there with any hostility, as most mm. people like was trying to make it out to me. Like you were going there combative. No. Because I saw people comment. Some some people comments were like, Oh, like you're going like initially mm. it was like you disrespected her. And even so, like it's not even before before, but the night off, you disrespected her. How? Oh. That's what people are saying. So I just want to make sure mm. and make clear that you didn't really have an an, an opportunity to talk to her for for no, her to feel disrespected that night. No, and as I said, I would have asked the question that I had to ask when it was that initial media question and answer segment. And mm-hmm. we, we would have been out. Mm-hmm. But I didn't go in there with any hostility. I was going there to tell her as I was telling her that my father have a big up. Mm-hmm. This is a big event. Mm-hmm. So it all happened. Mm-hmm. And... Again, people thought that people assume and people feel like in them heart of hearts that this was all planned. Mm-hmm. Can you disprove or dispel that again? Um, as I said earlier, it wasn't planned on our part. Mm-hmm. Of course, we went there knowing that something could happen. Mm-hmm. You don't did I put it out there, say it's a trap. Mm-hmm. Like you talk, by the way. <laughs> um, so you, we, I went there expecting anything. Mm-hmm. So when she for no after all that first initial exchange and she start and she get into so I I didn't know Nightly Fix was going to be here. I didn't mm-hmm. I didn't want you guys here. I'm like, Jervis, let's get shit rolling. <laughs> let's go. Yeah. So um when you like so it's okay, so it all started. She mm-hmm. started to go in. She said that we are the reason why she wrote black hypocrisy because mm-hmm. we were the ones that kinda, you know, um I guess degrading her, she said, yeah. and bring her down. In the moment you started to laugh a little because it's like, you know, she bring up the colors and me like cause she asked, is it because you're black? Yeah. And you kinda chuckle and you know, like you, she always, and she went on to say that, you know, we only it's only she cause we don't bring down other or we don't criticize other light skinned artists. Mm. You know, it's only she. And she asks again, is it because she's black? Now, can I just say something on your behalf? Go ahead. Um, Even though I don't, I don't need you to. I don't need you. Don't need me to. But mm. just for make it clear to everybody that Nara, as you you can all see, is a a, a black man. Um, his mother is a black woman, and his sister is a black woman. I wanted to talk about why you call your sister your nickname for your sister, Go but ahead. I thought that's too. <laughs> Go ahead. I mean, I don't know, like people not gonna get it, but just to show you the kind of person that you are. Yeah. Your sister, she's dark. You call your sister the dark night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to show you the kind of person you are, and mm. your sister love it. You know that is, you know, it's all in jest, mm. it's all in fun, it's all in good spirit, and you know, in you know, way is a psychological thing I, I was doing. To build her up. Yeah, you got, you got people out there, so you're black and, you know. Mm-hmm. Her, her sister, your sister is studying, I need to mention, is studying to become a doctor. Indeed, so. Um, Your mom is a, a registered anesthesiologist. An- anesthesia. Anesthesia. I still have problems to this day. <laughs> <laughs> I said anesthesiologist, it's easier, but yeah, anesthesia. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, very smart, well-educated. 
black women black have queens. grown up with black in my queens family. in your family. I joke with my sister, yeah, kind of the Dark Knight. Dark Knight is one of the greatest superheroes ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my hero. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you know, so, this is the show, the kind of, the like, you know, you're funny, but I mean, it's people are, people making it seem as if you are unfairly critical mm. towards her. Yeah, we can go back to the black hypocrisy thing and how okay. I felt when she brought that Okay, up. yeah. How do you feel? I was puzzled. Mm. I was very puzzled. I'm like, we, we degrade you because of black, you made the song because of people like me, a black hypocrisy. Mm-hmm. And in my mind, I quickly just make it, I, I, I put it down to, oh, she's promoting mm-hmm. the song in the moment mm-hmm. while trying to accuse somebody or accuse a media entity that she feels mm-hmm. has degraded her. As she used her based on times. the color of her skin based on the color of her skin she used that as an opportunity to mm-hmm. further that narrative mm-hmm. i found it very weird because we've never mentioned her skin color never oh she looked never when we criticize her yeah there's something else she was doing to and saying that even in our post that about keep the same energy yeah no that also puzzled me mm-hmm. because i'm here admitting to you that me criticize you mm-hmm. maybe even somewhat harshly mm-hmm. i say it to you mm-hmm. i didn't hide from that mm-hmm. i guess because you're laughing so because that's how i am yeah and it was it you was kind of funny. serious exactly <laughs> so ultimately i felt that's why it went kind of left because she was giving off that energy and i wasn't mm-hmm for the most part, calmness and my natural fuckery vibe mm-hmm. caused her to be angry. Mm-hmm. Was that intentional? No. Mm. I didn't expect things to go so left. Mm-hmm. And it wouldn't look good to be arguing with. No, her. it's never. One thing me learn is never argue with a woman. I never get yourself caught up in any argument with women, uh-huh. especially when there's cameras rolling. <laughs> and so, and this is something I wanted to address too, because uh. there's people on both sides of the spectrum that say, oh, um, I handled it poorly. Uh-huh. Um, I should have left. I should have stopped the interview when I, when I saw that it began, it began to go left. Uh-huh. But it went left from the beginning. It did. <laughs> uh, and I saw it. I, I was like, yo, roll. Like, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, while there are others that give me unanimous praise of, 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 of how calmly I, I handled things. And but me not, me not. I'm, I'm somewhere, <laughs> to be honest, I'm somewhere in between. Just to show you how critical I am of myself. Mm-hmm. And for sure. And let me just say this. Like, mm. I was talk- like I was saying to you, like, people are people say oh you know nah, nah, nah. I, I didn't crit- I wasn't commending you on how ha- well you handled the situation and how calm you remain I'm like no nah, you're not an idiot like if mm. you're an idiot if you're an hothead a natural hothead and you know you're gone yeah yeah you, 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 you did what you did mm. I would I would be proud of you but nah nigga girl I am not proud of you <laughs> <laughs> like you have sense Mm. I expected you to behave as such. So, you know, like, I'm, I'm not going to come in here for that. But I, what will, I will say is, you are not a coward. And mm. you you know that you said the things about her. Because many people said that they would not have gone. I mean, I didn't want to go. I, I, don't, I don't say bad things about Spice, but mm-hmm. I didn't want to go. But, you know, it's just that you know that it is. You know that it was coming. And you you wanted to give her an opportunity to air out all her grievances. And you, you took the line of fire. You stood up right in the line of fire and you took it. So, mm-hmm. for the watch. While you, while you stood Everybody on watch. Everybody me. I fed up with this world. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want people like, this is what exactly to address. And to go back to my point, um... I was going on that. I, I'm somewhere in between in, in regards to everything that people said about how I handled it. Many artists, as you see, 
as you saw, gave their opinions publicly in the comment sections of various posts that's re that was made about the whole situation. Um, the one I tend to agree with more actually is conscience. Mm -hmm. um, I've said this all the time, or you've heard me. It's not easy for an artist to be criticized, mm -hmm. especially by the likes of myself. Listen, it's not easy for anybody. This is true. To be criticized. Everybody have this image of perfection and below in mm -hmm. on them head. Everybody thinks that they're doing such a great job. Yeah. And it kind of shattering to the ego and the aid when mm -hmm. somebody dare to say, nah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and have the nerve, the, the cojones, the balls and or the vagina mm -hmm. to be able to sit down behind your mic with behind no sort of screens. Like, mm -hmm. you know, hide from it your your face. I was and, there to receive the vitriol. Like mm -hmm. when she was going, you saw me one at a time. I'm like, all right, go off, queen. Get where you have to get off of your very ample chest. Mm -hmm. Get it off. Mm -hmm. Because I've been saying these things about you. And the fact is some people handle it better than others. Mm -hmm. She has an opportunity, an opportunity to say what she has to say and get her feelings off her chest that she may have been building up over the years. I sat there and took it. I see some people say, oh, I shouldn't have let it go on for so long. People, we are not like you in terms of journalists out there and media people who, say, who, who say this. We operate differently. Mm -hmm. Right? We're opinion journalists, as C C E Cop said, actually. And it's is. not like, as, and don't get it twisted. It's not like we wanted it to go on and we saw where it was going um, to, to embarrass her. Mm hmm no because i'll say this i i think i had all of that coming to me mm -hmm. all of that mm -hmm. coming to me up to the suck your mother part <laughs> i didn't think that she would have said it i didn't think to so, be yeah. honest i thought when especially when she said can you do me a favor i really legitimately thought that she was going to say get up and get out of here like i thought she was going to say that but i really didn't think it was gonna come to that Let me ask you, this. you think she had that specific line planned because oh she really it really tough. Right. Like, it needs your for <laughs> Can you do me a favor? Suck your mother. <laughs> <laughs> she really tough. Neat. Yeah. Can that, you do me a favor? Yes. It's like she was it's like almost prepared. Like she you, knew you that that you, was the line that she was going to you say. Think she had that planned. I don't know. I I cannot I'm not here to speak to the machinations of Spice's mind. I mm. cannot I cannot sit here and pretend as if I knew it was coming. I felt something. I didn't mm. know it was going to be this. But as I said, when she said, can you do me a favor? Because there was a slight pause there. I mm. thought she was going to say, get up and get up and get up from in front of me. Mm. Like, I li I don't know why I thought that she was going to say that. So when she said that, I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, that you say. <laughs> so, that, yeah. That she said. That she said. No. And I, I, I'm mean, going to say that, like what I said previously, like to say, to encourage them type of thing that mm -hmm. in happening. Because all the bad that people have to say about it in regards to her, you can't get away from that in terms of, you know, mm -hmm. distasteful and whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. So and I'm not going to sit here and be a advocate mm -hmm. for all of them things. Mm -hmm. So I had it coming. But she had it coming. I had it coming. Mm -hmm. I'm not blameless in any of this. Mm -hmm. Right? The difference between us and them, though. Uh, the she and artists who, have, who, who agree with her. Who agree with her. Mm -hmm. We don't carry feelings. No. no we, we truly don't. are objective. Mm -hmm. We'll criticize you and praise you in equal manner. Mm -hmm. And it's not a two-faced thing. Mm-mm. I think that's the problem. I, I I think they fail to see the that's nuance the problem. in that. That's the problem. Oh, you said this and this and this, but that means you wish bad for me. No. No. And I mean, then this is going to go over into more things that the over the larger topic that I wanted to get into. Mm -hmm. Because I think that we need to get to a stage in Jamaica where we're able to disagree civilly, mm. where we can have civil discourse where I can agree with you or not agree with you. 
And Say for instance, no even sweat off each other back. Debate or debate that we had about Spice being queen of dancer. Mm-hmm. You had a view. Mm-hmm. I had a different view. Mm-hmm. We had a spirited de- debate, which I I won without yeah. a doubt. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but we have our disagreements here and there. Yeah. And we kept it simple. And I mean, me and you and I disagree personally on a whole myriad of things yeah. and a whole lot of things, and mm-hmm. we've had discussion and debate that very night we had a disagreement after it in regards to yes how to, to handle yes everything. how to go how right to go yes we, we did, did. Mm-hmm. you know and sure it's you, you sometimes your emotions get involved and mm-hmm. like i can't tell people like people always say that women are emotional which i personally don't believe that we're more emotional than men I um maybe we express it more than men but i mm-hmm. feel like everybody have emotions and men have been conditioned and taught to bottle and suppress that mm. but we are we are allowed free wing to cry and be angry and you know that. be more expressive mm. than men um but we're we're all emotional i beings. feel like we're not hard wired that way in a sense i think we're all emotional beings we are all emotional i've beings, never but... i've i'm 25 mm. and i've i recently when it when i was 20 was when i saw my mom cry mm never even when my grandmother died and um, my mother said she ball i never saw her cry never so again in my mind i just know women to be strong mm. i've never seen my mom cry i've never seen her break really it's just like when i was tw- like when i reached 20 i went the first time i kind of see 19 20 i went me see mm. you know she kind of starts break it all down and i was just like oh what is this mm. you know so I know women to be strong. So when people, so when people always say, "Oh, women are emotional," I've never, I can't, <laughs> I can't re- relate that in my mind and in mm. my experience. Um, one, but I feel like we need to be able to disagree about all things and everything, and know that at the end of the day, it's just that you know some things I know are going to get personal. Some things are just gonna be real serious. And you know you feel like you need for attack, but I feel like if you if we can step back more while mm-hmm. you know have to be, and this is not you know have to be smart, you know have to be you know have to go to the best schools, you know have to read enough. It's just we have to be able to stop, take a breath, mm-hmm. and just realize say, okay, this is this person's opinion because yeah. she. Ha- I mean, everybody have an opinion about us, you know. Everybody, everybody, everybody think and that they're we're allowed to, and they're allowed to. Everybody thinks that we're we're unprofessional, mm-hmm. we're crass, we're young, we're, we're an idiot, we're trash. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, that's fine. If you think that we're we we know that our thing isn't catered to you. Mm-hmm. If you give us an opportunity though, and you'd see where we're coming from, and you allow us to explain why we do the things that we do, you think you know that. Okay, it's all planned. It's all orchestrated. It's all set up. It's the, there's a method to the trashness. And, and <laughs> to, to paraphrase to piggyback that statement, on that, Ari, that when, statement. When we started out this thing, mm-hmm. didn't we start out with the mindset that, yo, I be a cookie cutter shit out them more mm-hmm. time. Where are the the, the platforms or people like talking real shit? Mm-hmm. Like everything just seemed cookie cutter to us. I mean, and it, it's why we look to certain inspirations and say, why there can't overseas. be that here? Mm-hmm. It's no secret. We're inspired by The Breakfast Club, along with several other shows. Howard Stern. Howard Stern. Jimmy Kimmel. What all of them people have in common? Realness. Unfiltered, them, unabashed. Their ruffled feathers. Yeah. So I had no... We never have no imaginary thoughts of, say, oh them thing that it's gonna couldn't go happen evil. or go won't easy. happen. Exactly. Yeah. If we're not a rough of feathers, what the fuck we're at this one? Mm-hmm. And ultimately, we appreciate for the better this whole thing that we call dance. Because mm-hmm. if we Checks can't hold up these big artists in, in, in the space to certain standards, how we talk grow? Mm-hmm. We can if we can point out and say, oh, what that? Mm-hmm. Why you not do this better? Mm-hmm. What we I do this for? No, we not do it for. What we not do it for? <laughs> we not just want stay in, stay insulated and little circle yeah. them or out the ningy ningy them in our ears. Mm-hmm. Or what? 
which, which, which leads me to something else that she said, which was funny to me. Uh-huh. The topic of constructive criticism. You heard what she said was constructive criticism to her? Well, the hear. <laughs> and the, uh, the hear and, you know, people talk about her hair and I look good or yeah. the outfit she have on. But we've never criticized how her hair, Is the makeup. Is that constructive criticism to you as a woman when... I mean, I mean, looks are a part of it. It is a part of it. That that is true. It is. Um. So you know, if it don't look good, but ultimately, look good. as an artist, which one you'd value more in terms of criticism? Well, people always say that. Men, like people, I'm talking about me. I'm not mm. an artist, but what I do, I, as you know, seminarily fool around the makeup enough. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's expensive mm. <laughs> and it's hard. Um, and people always say, oh, look, Ariane, she look at she roll out of bed, and da, 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 and I'm like, no, but are you hearing what I'm saying? Is, mm. is the words coming out of my mouth, are they making sense? Or is it valid? Is mm. is there is it grounded in veracity? Do you and, something from it? Yeah. Is it, is it grounded in veracity? Is it, mm. is it composed and well thought out? Like, are you understanding what I'm saying? Mm. You know? So that's what I care about. I've always cared about the things that I think and say mm. versus how I look. More so. More than, so. Than, uh, okay. Yeah. So I thought that was funny too that she said like people criticize about her here and she she considered that more than anything else constructive mm-hmm. criticism. Mm-hmm. Are you you've you've known you've been there when we criticize her? What do I mostly criticize her about? That she really and truly need to diversify her catalog. That's right. always been your main gripe. I see somebody dig up something I say from 2016 or something like so from Facebook. I'm like, whoa, really? I don't know. <laughs> what was that? Um, it was a video that that I shared of her performance from the Prime Minister's oh, oh, event. Oh, that, that, that. And, mm-hmm. I, and I comment that like, this just goes to show that Spice's catalog is holy and varied. Mm-hmm. I've been keeping that same energy ever mm-hmm. since. Mm-hmm. I can't say that. Uh-huh. while still praise her for the good that she do uh-huh. and say oh she's a great ambassador for dance both are can be true both can be true i think that's and it can not be to understand. i think that's the thing with, with it all you know it just kind of goes to show is like you have to be either or mm-hmm. like we i realized why we can't have gray areas and even it's not and it's not even gray areas you know it's just that there needs to be a situation where you can look at things wholeheartedly mm-hmm and understand both sides you know and just say well okay understanding your point and understanding where you're coming from or mm. what i assume your intention is but the result of it is the issue and the result of it is what is what we're talking about mm. and the result is what needs to be changed you know do something with the intention do a, fix on a, something else with the intention mm. and then a, a different outcome can 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 come out you know so I think that we need to allow again, again, it just I guess it all ties in. We need to allow for civil discourse. We need to allow there needs to be a sec- check and balance since you know again most of the entertainers and the surround and the self with people who kind of boost up on the ego yeah. and always kind of inflate it and say I'm an artist, say I'm going uno, good artist. Una one of the worst thing about dancer, can I say? It? Yeah, una one of the worst. Yes, men them. I've yeah. been saying that for yeah. years. And if because if you are if you surround yourself with people who can you know who who give you the real mm-hmm. and honest with you because everybody can sing your praises you know but there's only a few people who can look by you in your eye mm-hmm. and say you're dead wrong or and this not sound good it is or why you do not good it was clear mm-hmm. that somebody or people have been Telling Spice or, or, or pointing her in a direction that say, you see what they say about you, yes, sir? Mm-hmm. You see that? You see that? It is clear that she not really watch. She was being force fed mm-hmm. a certain narrative. Mm-hmm. That is why when she said the word never, that we've never said anything positive about her, I'm like, Spice, don't watch our show on our own time. Mm-hmm. Whatever she watch, she has been fed by the niggy. Mm-hmm. I'm really glad say one day on the spot <laughs> to prove my point. Mm-hmm. Jervis, me wish me wish they quicker with the camera for sure. <laughs> but yeah, and I'll say this as me say I had I had that coming. Did I deserve the sucking mother part? I'll leave that up to you for the side. Mm-hmm. 
we said this before. So came another thing, I don't know. That coming like a greet in, in our community. We, you know, when we used to go with we used to call each other by our mother name. We never used to join them game, still, but that's something my bridge name used to do, call mm-hmm. each other by their mother name. So that itself, to me. But the fact that you're, you, you have this movement going about black hypocrisy and women empowerment, it wasn't a smart thing to do. I'm not saying that Pice is dumb or that she's not smart. The action that she took then wasn't a smart thing to do. Uh-huh. To call or to tell a young man who, 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 who come up and do him thing in a journalism or media. I'm going to class myself in as a journalist, journalist per se. Uh-huh. For God them levels that somebody's mother who is a civil servant over 30 years, black, Uban. it wasn't a smart thing to do considering the campaign that you're currently on. It what just you, wasn't What you want to say, by the way? Has she seen this? What is she, what is she seeing in all of this? <laughs> um, I prepped her for it. Oh, wow. I went home, spoke with her, prepped her for her. I said, Mom, when you wake up in the morning, you're going to see a bag of things. I'm preparing you. <laughs> Like, yeah, go see some, some things with me everywhere. So just prepare yourself. Eat. Um, I think that helped her to handle all of it. Mm-hmm. Um, she, say, she said that she saw some doctors at work watching it and, and she in between minds would tell them if I if or something. <laughs> <laughs> so like she said, she go up to one where they don't watch it and say, um, you know, it's me. Them t- she talking about there. <laughs> <laughs> so what you talking about? That? Oh, God. <laughs> yes, that's my son. Um, I think she took it in stride for mm-hmm. the most part. Um, she see some of the comedy video them, Chabas oh, and she say you don't know she love Chabas already. Mm-hmm. Um, we can't say yeah. Them they did Jeffrey. You, you have a special compartment in Isle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Him, him go Isle. The Jeffrey brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We see all she she see no for them. She watch all of the videos, um mm-hmm. and think what the vlogger them do. Big up CMR TV. Big, big up Patrice. <laughs> Spice biggest fan. Big up yourself. You know mm-hmm. yourself. Um, so watch all of that. But um, she sent me a message mm-hmm. that she wanted me to read. Mm-hmm. Um. I'll read it, and however Pais wants to take it, she take it. Um, so she says, okay, son, this is better. Mm-hmm. How I feel, I was shocked and extremely disappointed on the, on the remark to think that a woman, a mother could say such a thing. It was sad. That was unnecessary. To think of colorism with me thinking that I might even be of a darker shade than, than she is, is the whole situation was unfortunate and in poor taste. I am not asking for an apology, son. Let the woman in her, the mother in her, arise to do what is right. I wish her grace. Sign okay. and seal. Okay. So that was her final thoughts on it. Yeah. I don't necessarily think an apology is needed for me. Uh-huh. I'll say that. The smart thing for her to do was, was to apologize. Uh-huh. She don't want to do it. Uh-huh. She'll let ego cloud our judgment. That's fine. That's, That's fine. fine. That's fine. People That's handle fine. things better than others. We say it enough time. Handle it differently. It's not easy being criticized by the likes of me. Uh-huh. You know, easy. I acknowledge that. You know, you know easy being an artist. Uh-huh. What are the name of the game? Some people handle it better than others. But I go back to a point. They handle it different. I go back to a point we made previously. We can criticize you and we'll praise you. Mm-hmm. When you forget praise and that thing, the video that we put out for Spice, we could have do it for any artist that it is claimed that we don't like mm. or that we constantly bash. We could have do that for any artist. Call name. I won't. Who could have, can do a compilation of saying good things about them as well. Mm-hmm. Right? 
even even the video itself oh god people stupid I, uh, people so stupid people are about oh we all not include the bad part them are um, apparently and even she did attack somebody who says so too oh, i'm spicy you need to do a compilation a, a, a clips what them i say bad boy she said Go look on YouTube, them dead. Eh? Mm-hmm. Now, only claim, say, only see them. She claim she saw them. The niggas mm-hmm. niggas told her. They're there. Mm-hmm. We're not hiding them. Pa- We're not hiding them from our channel. Mm-hmm. They're there for all to see. Mm-hmm. I'm no saint in all of this. I take full responsibility. Right? I dance all. Mm-hmm. You take part responsibility. <laughs> I'll take some of it. Yeah. Um, As I say, the, the, the sucking mother part. It, it, I don't know if I deserve that. It wasn't smart on her part. Mm-hmm. But can't tell people how to control them feelings and, mm-hmm. and such, you know? Yeah. I mean, so, that's I'm just, I just, I just want to say, like all the people who are supporting her and all the artists who are supporting her, mm-hmm. I think the question goes on to show, or the bigger question that I have to ask I not even want to ask her no, but just ask overall. Like if she pro- if she behaved like this to let's say a Charlemagne, a breakfast club, mm. who is known to be no holes bar, unfiltered, un- unabashed, well. mm-hmm. would she behave the same way? So it kind of I mean when I was when I when I was looking at it, I, I I stepped away and I walked away. People said them hear me. Like I had to step away because. I felt sad because me I say it just goes to show saying I'm I'm here in a say in a way like to be to defend her and to you know to always kind of champion her. Yeah, cause me know says some party kind of did enjoy that too, didn't you? <laughs> no, didn't you? you priest. No. <laughs> no. No, um, because I'm saying like positivity will never win. Mm. And it, it's just, it's like positivity would never win. It's I'm something saying that we, we see that like people I latch on to, to the negativity quicker than the positive. And it's like it just completely obscure because, you know, you come with a counterpoint of, mm. you know, that isn't, you know, you know, you know, support um, mediocrity or, you know, you know, support, you know, go blow smoke. So, you know, like everything that I say that's good or not so bad mm-hmm. it's overlooked completely your you, people focus on you and and in that same vein mm-hmm. in the moment because she was saying nightly fix mm-hmm. so people pointed out that she said no you. use but in some instances she said nightly, nightly fix. fix never have nothing, nothing to good. say nothing good for say about me so i felt in that moment i'm like i have a co-host we're, we're, we understand this dynamic you know yeah. that sometime when we we express a point that it will be said that nightly fix so mm-hmm. when I don't want to say so. Mm-hmm. And it's but, fine. But I felt the need to make that differentiation we're, there. We're, we're, it's fine. We're, 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 we're one. A, yeah, we're a team in mm-hmm. a sense. Um, but in that moment, I felt the need to point out, say, me, I know does nightly fix so. Ari is also nightly fix. So it's unfair to me that broad stroke and say yo nightly fix it because you have somebody here who's of equal importance who's of equal measure in the makeup of the show mm-hmm. who says a boatload of positive for you mm-hmm. and have when, you and when i'm not and when i'm and when i see that she do things that i'm not agreeing i'm not in agreement you say with that too. i'm like yeah you know that yeah yeah you know that could change that could alter but it goes to show but I, it's my 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 second point though that i wanted to bring up is like when we started the show we know said these local entertainers them not really read local media mm-hmm. they don't care you for bring us. Up the point about breakfast club yeah. wendy williams yeah we like we <laughs> yeah that it's a it's a it's a very broad point yeah they don't they don't care for us mm-hmm. you know and on a whole on a whole like them them come late have some of the things so it likes you don't even know half then come you late don't know the half of it them then cancel the the minute off mm-hmm. the show them come very late them come high them mm-hmm. not care them not apologize they're not remorseful why with the international media they're, they're on, on time, time you know they're, they're cordial all these, these things. things that that goes back to some things we've addressed in yeah. the past you know so it's a situation where 
men men don't know say them no right way. Mm-hmm. Especially don't, they sh- us. Us. But more so local media. Whole, yes, we yeah. see that too. So, you know, it's just you just kind of I I've accepted when it when they reach a certain level. Yeah, mm. I've accepted it. Me not even ask enough for change. Me not ask enough. We not bother about it because you know gonna be uno and yeah. we are gonna be we. Yeah. And me not ask enough for change because mm. uno can't ask for change. But it just I just wanted to think about that people out there like the respect if you're not especially if you're not chummy or friends or Or kiss us which we never set out to be yeah they're not going to respect you as much i mean i know about you mean i don't need but (laughs) you know it's just it's not it's not it's not they don't respect us i i I don't know what to say i don't know what else it is it just just comes on to show that local media in a general scope and mm. nightly fix in a in a myopic sense but uh, we've accepted it yeah we're not asking again we're not asking for change if we accept say, certain people now rock yeah, could we, we? Not ever fall upon the show we're fine with that we'll come to peace with that we'll come to peace with that but i just hope i think this if the my final point and my final takeaway on this is that mm. i wish that you guys entertainers and artists on a whole like if you don't want to ascend to a higher level you have to know that criticism is a part of the game not everyone is going to be glowing and young artists and take notes not everyone is going to always like boost you up mm. and celebrate you and that does not mean that the person don't rate you because people would be surprised to know that Nara really and truly enjoys Spice and her performance. Like him always said that him really likes Spice and her performance. We always talk amongst ourselves say she really knows how to put on a show. Yeah. You know, and she really do it for us in time. I remember when Nicki Minaj came out here for some face and I felt and I was like, I can't believe Nicki Minaj make spice and can Nicki Minaj have a budget. Like I me know me not know how much money her budget Jamaican was bigger than spice. spice. Right. Me not know how much money she did I get paid, but whatever. Mm. But you know, even how she looked was kinda ordinary compared to spice. Like spice went out and she did this whole thing. I never forgot. And you know, like I've always thought, I'm, I always keep that in the back of my mind. Say she, 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 she make for this, but it's one thing to be able to do it, but not everybody's going to enjoy everything that you do. And you have to, we mm-hmm. have to learn to make the distinction of even if it's not, it's not that they don't like you, mm-hmm. they don't like what you do. And I mean, it's not, it's one thing. It's not, it's not everything. Mm-hmm. It's just one thing. I and we have that's to be a able. I had to teach you. We have to be able to to. To separate and differentiate that and no say because my mother me think my mother love me <laughs> but, you think <laughs> me think my mother love me but trust me my mother is the first to say this no good that no good improve this work on this my mm-hmm. mom's the first speak properly um i do that with you yeah, you do. You mm. do. <laughs> <laughs> you do. I mean, no, so yeah. me do that with myself. Even in the moment, I'm like, mm-hmm. people saying, oh, hundreds are calm. I think I could have handled it even better. Better, yeah, to you be could honest. Have. You could have. I could have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, you know, it's the first time this, something like this happened. This is true. And I'm sure there's many more to come. But I hope that. But it's not the first I've ever spoken to somebody that. This, you it, had it, a... it, it, it is perceived that me this are style mm-hmm. it's not the first mm-hmm. so that keep that same energy th- energy thing that i've been with that from all long mm-hmm. we give vegas clone of the week in, in come to a show interview tommy lee music pre-say i'm gonna like i'm sold for a certain song and i did that in front time face <laughs> and saying <laughs> If uh, we have a, a good conversation, weird, but good. Uh-huh. I can the link. Clown of the week. Uh-huh. Fard Pandushri. Remember that 10 situation? Uh-huh. I was there. Uh-huh. So, to all the people that did a message me and I say, oh, you're okay and you're all right. I appreciate the sentiment, but at the end of the day, I'm built for this. Uh-huh. I am. My built feet. Is it me? Menaga said that I'm encouraging it. Mm-hmm. 
but it's something that you have to expect that will come with the territory. Mm-hmm. Again, I Them just type hope. Of thing. I hope that in, they allow. In, I hope they allow intelligence to reign, mm-hmm. and you know, be man enough, or in this case, woman enough, like spice, mm-hmm. to 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 come to you, and you know, come to you, and get it all out as a person. As a, yeah, get it all which out. Which she did. Yeah. Yeah. So, so big up yourself, spice. She said she no car. Mrs. She offer out some sort of olive branch. You thought that what you thought it was? And she said she won't call it quit. So she well, said something bad. With this, with this, you two, she this, two years she and and years. and me this, as she this me one Once. time. I don't think that's fair. I mean, I don't. I, to be honest, I'm wondering like how you deserve. Uh, that's something but, else that I should have done better in the moment. When she said like you degrade me. And why she said, why you degrade me? And I, I was like, it's not because of your color. So that innocent is like me, I say, me degrade her, but I know because of that. Mm. So I guess been... because she was harping on because of my skin color, my yeah, skin yeah. color. So you just wanted to make it clear mm-hmm. that it was never because of her skin color. Yeah, like you like have... what you pre as degrading uh, is not because of mm-hmm. your skin color or anything. Mm-hmm. So that's what I was doing. Just so I made that clear. Yeah. Well... I mean, I kind of think we're going over on it. It's unfortunate. And for the people them out there who I say about, oh, this all lead to Spice's downfall. It's not lead to no type no. of downfall. No, it's it's, she made a mistake. One mistake. One mistake. I don't think her career are going to be totally cancelled or anything, mm. uh, nor do we want it to be. No, sir. She's and needed it, in the space. And to session, we've never said anything good about her. I just want to take this opportunity to, to mention that Spice has become the third female to top Billboard reggae chart. Um, this is a uh, observer, a Jamaica observer post mm-hmm. um, that said that, you know, since the start of the reggae Billboard chart in 1990s, only nine female artists have reached number one. Spice is the third female to top the chart this year. So Spice captured mixtape, um, entered the chart a pole position it was released at number two um yeah so more about this week's big word chart so then i'm gonna talk about it tomorrow but yeah she's the first the first the the third artist mm. to reach to top b- billboard reggae chart so all the niggy niggy them did buy the album too. i hope so i hope so <laughs> it's unfortunate yeah. we're going but um again big up to everybody that call there are some artists that call me, won't say the name, but call me now and make it seem like setting you know, the support for me is a stance against her. So mm-hmm. Which is, it's not, it's it not. shouldn't be. And them just know, say, yo, this is a situation that I've never been in before, and them call me for offer support and ask if my right. Mm-hmm. So, so I will say one, Dovey Bangnam, she don't give a fuck. <laughs> Dovey don't give a fuck. So, <laughs> we call up Dovey, I say, yeah. Dovey, big up here, say, yeah. <laughs> Dovey don't care. <laughs> And you saw one of the clip them like our relationship with Dove started from we styling her yes. for spice. Yeah. So all them thing that shit yeah. was crazy. We hope you save Dove. <laughs> that really funny. I really do but love yeah. Dove. Um it's been a whirlwind week. Mm-hmm. Um as How you, you can, feeling now? Um as me that tell enough people and tell you yourself. I'm not sad, I'm not angry, it's just I'm more feeling overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. Another media personality, they reach out to me and say, no, you know how it feel like if you caught up in a, a, a whirlwind, a, a barrage of comments and stuff like that. And I hope that it will, who, uh, I hope that it help you to understand what artists go through. And I, I know, we know what them go through. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not, say it's not hard being an artist, especially the one, it's not easy. one the caliber of a spice. It's, it's not easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not easy. So, I know. Hmm. But we get a little piece of myself. Um, there's several instances in which you could have capitalized, but we're not clout chasers. We're not do this necessarily for fame. If you come with the territory, territory that's cool. Um, but genuinely, I don't want it. I just, of, I just want to. I just want to talk and just give and my do opinion. I want to have fun with it. Yeah, and have fun. I, I, as I always say. We don't do it with malicious intent. I think that's never. the difference between some of them artists and some of these fans and us is that we never wish bad for an artist. Because like, I probably f- they wish bad on us and say, oh, yeah, man, if we get cancelled and what, like, 
we never yet wish bad on an artist. Because a win for Unino, like if you know, in a skyrocket is a win. The win for us yeah. on a whole, and the whole thing where we involved in a car. It's not even us, it's just the, again, dance all. Mm. It's, a, it's a win for dance all. I mean, I don't know. We can go on and on, and yeah, it's a whole can. long conversation mm. and a whole topic of discussion that we can have. But I just just want to reiterate that I don't, I, I can't operate in hate. Yeah, I personally cannot operate in hate. I mean, I, yo, it take no for hate, smarty. Yeah, and I'm, and I, I mean, hate what you do. Mm. I mean, I mean, hate what you say. I mean, hate a song that you put out, but I can never hate you. And you know, I just, I just hope that this platform, you can take it as people who would be honest with you who have nothing for gain mm. from you losing. Like you have to look at, you have to ask yourself this question: like, what do, what do they gain, or what do people gain? by boosting you up or tearing you down and once you can ask yourself that question you can determine the haters in your life like me say to the show not gonna if we not talk about you you're one of the most talked about artists in the game mm, but i just hope that artists and i hope that spice can look within herself mm. and you know like just i think the, the worst thing in life is to be misunderstood we, and, I understand your hurt, yeah. Queen. From you use the word hate. I felt it. I felt the hate. <laughs> I made it feel it. Till it reached my blue shoes, which are teal, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> the hate reached on my blue shoes. I'm like, yo. So I was there like, get what you have to say off your chest, Queen. Get it out. Mm. It look like it's, it's been dwelling on your heart. I can't tell her how for react and how. I've literally been sick. Like so I got sick. I mm. got sick on Saturday. Mm. And I've been sick ever since. Like my nose right now, my nose stuffy. Me sick I too almost because it's day damn six. <laughs> me sick. I'm no. I'm seriously sick. I am fighting a cold. I'm just hyped up. It was all true with basically. You look on your face, I do. Oh, I'm wrap up now. Me damn near get catch one cool to her. Like, the whole always sick of this. Usually, them things last for a day and it done. Mm. Like, not no kick with a story yet. <laughs> Some can kick it out, man. I swear. Kick I don't know. Out. I don't know why you have a put that. Because I wasn't saying that. I was just saying I'm sick. No, you're, you're sick, sick. sick. at <laughs> 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 it. You're sick at it. You know what I'm saying? I just want to say Something can kick you out, man. Mm. Sure. Out of the, the, the news cycle. Anyway. Big up to all the, the media outlets that reached out for an interview, but yeah, we have a platform. We have a platform. Yeah. I hope this gives some clarity. Mm. Maybe maybe somebody else want to talk to you. Maybe I'm not ask the right question because I guess I was there. So I'm not fast I enough to ask this. the right question. There's one particular person on show that I would talk to. Them not reach out yet. I heard that they want to talk, but them not reach out yet. So there's one particular program that I would go on. Mm. Otherwise, I'm good. I'm not seeking, I'm not a cloud chaser. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Various ways we could have further capitalized on this, but it is what it is. Big up yourself, Pice, again. Um, should we mention our going forward? I, how do you think we of should? Of course, have? because should? It, to show that it's not personal. And we went there thinking the same thing. So yo, we get an invite. I go go there and show you. Say none of this shit is personal. It's never been. I cannot keep malice. Well, I can. I'm actually a really good malice keeper. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> I, mean, I can't keep malice. But I don't hate you. Mm. But I can't keep malice. Like I, I can't say like, I know I don't like you. Mm. I know I don't like you. I mean, I remember. But me know some and I like you. <laughs> but I don't. I, 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 the all I get is more more I say, you know what? Take sure, holy for a person. Holy for burden. And that's why when you reach a point of forgiveness with that person, like I would burn just let off of you. That's I, why. I wish Pice can reach that. that that's place. why I don't hate people. Yeah, no, I don't hate sense. people. Not too much energy. Yeah, I don't hate people. I don't. I don't. I mean, I like what you do. Yeah. I mean, hate what you do. I mean, hate what you say. I, I mean, may think you're a jackass, but I don't hate you. I never hate people. It's yeah, too much. Too much. And I just hope that you guys recognize. And think in time. And to be honest, I think in time mm. it will all like she'll she'll yeah. get it. 
she'll get it i think she knows that she was, she was no good. not even they at us she will mm. get us oh, not yeah. about the situation no i don't want to get to you know i'm mean, not mean for two or whore and i don't like doing that i don't that's I'll, why i'm I'll not people, saying it <laughs> i let people do i'm not saying but, it i don't know what you're talking deep about deep down i feel like they're ready to all them people that, that you see and this was a very enlightening moment by the way for see who and who really what they really think about we are this is very enlightening mm-hmm we're not glad to say cartel rate. <laughs> cartel rates us. Yeah. Never you forget. Go see where I'm coming. In no one chat too bad, but I'm a spice. But you can't see the ratings. Make up yourself, person who runs cartel Instagram account. You got that approval from the boss himself. So big up on yourself. And big up everybody that sent us love our way and words of encouragement. Uh-huh. Um, at, the end of the, at the end of the day, we do this to entertain. And we do you know to add something different and new to the space i think we've been doing that that was the vision the Mm -hmm. mission statement i have i actually had a mission statement for Mm -hmm. this thing and a vision statement because i knew the mission and the vision that i had and yeah big up to the other media houses and other media entities that uh, do what they do but i think we are needed above it all i just want to say thanks so the 75, Six. 76 mm-hmm. subscribers, 76,000, 76,000 subscribers yeah, that we have on our channel. Mm-hmm. Um, thank you for understanding. Thank you for getting it. And thank you for being true. And is and, and I'm, you guys, you guys are there to say good and bad yeah. and that's what it's all about and i appreciate it and you may not like this now you may not like what we have to say you may you may like this overall thing but you probably may not like something i say or what i say people there are fans of ours that say we don't even like this this are <laughs> tell her about both our mother <laughs> <laughs> it's like no we're not going too nice no no but thank you for getting it yeah and you know we you know what it's what and at the end of the day we do it all for you guys we know what we were missing and we just wanted to create that void mm-hmm. and the 76 000 on the catch on we'll and fill that void and fill that mm-hmm. void and the 76 thousand on the catch on and rate it and as i said at the end of the day we do it all for you so you know we'll continue to ask the questions that make these artists uncomfortable because at the end of the day one no and we're going to be the voice of Uno. We don't come here to kiss us. We're not. We, we're we not can't know that we're not kissers. gonna make friends yeah. with the, some of them. But as, we don't necessarily want to make friends as, with these. At artists. the end of the day, if you know, we try to try to to say what you guys are thinking. Mm-hmm. Try to ask the questions that you want to ask, and at the end of the day, keep it light, keep it young, keep it fresh, keep it fun and funny and entertaining. Yeah. So thanks for getting it. I think that does it for us. A recap on this whole thing. Yeah. Spent longer than it. I'm longer spent. on it than than we planned to, but yeah. It is You're what gonna it edit is. edit it down, I'm sure. Maybe. <laughs> you know. But again, thanks again to Spice and our team. Goddamn God damn it. Spice mm-hmm. and our team. Um for the invite, whether it was a trap or not, we mm-hmm. give thanks. It was a cool experience. Mm-hmm. And again, shout out to her for being the third Billboard female artist to mm. reach a reggae Billboard third. They make sure of that ready for sale. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and she mentioned that she took um she was number one last mm. week when on iTunes and she you know dethroned Bob Marley um legendary album that's been at top of the Good, charts. Good, bad, or indifferent. If they not talk about me, you know, I she them are talk about and all that the, the attention is around the mixtape mm-hmm. and her. Mm-hmm. So Yeah. It's a W for her in a sense. Who w is? for us. Can we give ourselves a round of applause? No, let's not. <laughs> I will not do that. No. I will not kiss I wanna our end own this. Houses. I wanna <laughs> end this. I wanna end this. Alright, so we we're going to have an interview with Tony Kelly and Kalyan I hope, I hope I'm saying the name right. <laughs> Alright, so keep it locked to the fix podcast so far. You're not. Don't care, why is somebody DJ name? 
DJ is a trap. DJ a trap. DJ a trap. Ah, this is how we're gonna start it. Welcome back to the Fix Podcast, people. It's your boy Nari here with Ari, and join us here with us, Tony Kelly, award-winning producer. Mm-hmm. I should give him the titles before. Award with Grammy Award winning producer, esteemed producer, there you writer. Go. There you go. Tony Kelly. He has brought along with him his beautiful artist. We've, we've spoken to her before. before. Kayla. Uh-huh. There we yes. go. I always miss a feeling. I'm saying Kalia, Kayla, but. That was right the first time you said it. Kalia. 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 See, yeah. I was right. You're wrong. No. You said Kalia. You said Kalia. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have the same problems when we were the first time. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Yes. Well, thank you again for joining us here. Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, respect. Let's start it off with 20 years you're celebrating, Tony. 20 years of your well bookshelf reading. Yeah, yeah. Iconic. Yeah iconic at that one awards and it went platinum and sold a whole lot of records no, 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 what no went platinum you know got platinum <laughs> no you have songs on it mm-hmm. that jump off yeah you have songs that was redone mm-hmm. that jump off big um zara larson redid it went um number two in the british chart and went top some of the european charts mm-hmm um, she did that sexy body. Yeah. yeah, that song always seemed to get a whole lot of yeah. refix. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bridges yeah. Do a yeah. Version too. Yeah, um, even um, Evie Queen redid it, and um, reggaeton way back. Mm. Mm. Um, Pitbull and Jennifer Lopez redid it. Yeah, All right. Yeah, How much money I make off? How much money I make off? You her? Enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, how I, many times has it been like redone? Though? Yeah. A lot, man. Mm. Um, Tori Lanez just did it. Skirt, skirt. Yeah. And the take a melody out of it. Wow. So they said, yeah, what up? Uh, yeah, man. You, yeah, man. Talk oh, to it. Yeah, yeah. You call, like your people, them call people yeah, who. Yeah, yeah. If so, at yeah. least like a. Now, my team. Schmiller. We have a team, you know, a real team. So, mm-hmm. we have my managers and. You have a lawyers and a publisher was signed to Universal Music Publishing. Mm. Been signed to them from probably about 94. Wow. Mm. Polygram Music into Vivendi, Seagram into that. When did so, you get like all of them things in order? Like, I know that there's a lot of producers that don't have them type of things in order. Boy, you hear me? Um, I read a lot, you know. Mm. And I want to know the history of the music and how people get successful and how them do this and how them do that. And then yeah, always. I said, oh, okay, now I see this publishing name and try to figure out what is that and how you do that and, you know, you, you learn mm. and read. Um, all you need to know about this music business, but then I pass, man, make you know, say, publishing a your pension. Mm. Mm. First thing that when you hear that, they, they be like, pension. That means uh, that we hear off when we get old. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to start that out. Because mm-hmm. government, now go look for me coming to work for government. Mm-hmm. So... That was important for me to understand the, the side. That was also important for our professional team around me because that was a big um, if if it you know, the, you know, the, 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 at that time we had uh, managers around, but they were, we weren't professionals. Just like a virgin just become a manager, mm-hmm. and then he had lawyers that was from Jamaica at the time, but they weren't really practicing entertainment oh. entertainment law. Then practice something and then just be like, yeah, well, we can't do that. And no, so that's it, that's works. the thing to learn too, because not all like even if one contract, like not everybody able to understand uh, entertainment no, and yeah, music that business, one, right? That one regular word is an ad to change a whole thing. Mm. You know, yeah, yeah. We have times when my manager look over a contract and she send it to me, and lawyer looked over and said, okay, I'm ready to sign. I'm looking at him like, yeah, I'm not like a word, you know. All this uh, explain this to me and then be like, oops. That's someone not supposed to be there. You, you look it over and tell yeah. them. And wow. there are times when me, me, I look at it and be like, all right, look good. I'm manager like, ah, uh, they yeah. move something. Mm. Something move and I didn't see it. Mm. Yeah. It's always good for several eyes look yeah, over man. contracts. You yeah, yeah. That. That's yeah, it's true. important. <laughs> but isn't it daunting though? Like when he initially did me, I said, John, you know, like 20 page of a, a read and then, then them come with them legal jargons. I said, John, you know, this. No, it's important, man. It's too much. Though, yeah. You just sign and say. Yeah, and then at times, so you have to watch how you lie <laughs> oh, to, you know. No, no, no. no, no. 
<laughs> you can watch all your liar to some time, you know. Yeah. True. Yeah, man, because sometimes some liar in, in some bed. Some sharks out there, man. Yeah, mm. they're in bed with the company I work with, mm. and then might just sell you. They say, yo, I'm going to give you that if you give me this. Mm. And you get caught in the middle of something, and you be like, what? Mm. Wait. Oh, there are all, all loophole on this. Wow. And they realize, uh, my next deal, somebody else, a bigger client. Mm. And you just get, there's a pawn. It happened to me before, so. You know, know, so, yeah. You know, you always. So watch everything. You, you, when you watch, like, the TLC story and you read a couple of things, like, um, even, like, Alice, um, Alina, Alanis Morissette, she had to sue her lawyer for, like, five mil because he was kind of siphoning money from her. I mean, I say, if, if, if that's prevalent here locally, like, people, like, people, you know, you sign one thing and then... That's prevalent everywhere, man. Yeah. I uh, know, kind of store business, man. <laughs> Somebody working there, a siphon or something. Mm. <laughs> you just have to look out. And the thing about contracts, you know, the contracts are not good or bad, you know. And that's what you're signing, you know. Mm. It never, ever going to be a rare, you find it where it's, it's okay for you, okay for me. Mm. It, it's a deal and uh, negotiate, negotiate, negotiate until you decide, say, all right, we can't live with this. Mm. If you check life, you know, we are get robbed, you know, you can pay for water, water, and uh, fish. Who will feed the fish in the ocean, man? And it's expensive. True. Here. Mm-hmm. You pay for that with the tire. That's what I said. Life of fear. You start talking of fear. That's true. Mm. So, that's you see what I said? It's you have to pay man. for going in the yard. I tell you. Basically. It. No, you don't have to pay for it. Not anymore. No, no, yeah, yeah. That's not you me. lack empathy. You're not, you're not saying, you buy a piece of land, you still have to pay for the, the land. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if the government wants that to build us some road, you tell us, I need that. Too. Mm. If I move, I give you the next piece. Mm. Wow. Never yours. Jano. So, you, um, Tony, he taught you that too? Like, he, like, what are the things that he teach about that to, like, management and signing? And... Yeah, man, he's always made it clear that it's important that you deal with your business, but. You have other people who have the special. I'm not a lawyer. So mm-hmm. Yeah. You must. Mm-hmm. You have to hire people who know what they're doing and people that you trust. I was wondering, like, if for the both of you guys, like that part of it, the business part, does it really affect the creativity and the music? Like when you have to think, well, Jano, am I getting robbed? It or will if you, if you leave the the, the energy there in the field mm. out there. So mm. if we, if we do something and um like a song. I'm be like, oh, okay, the publishing is this, blah, blah, blah. Oh, you're, you're good? I'm going to ask her before me even agree. If she's not yeah, good, then yeah, yeah. I'm going to take a hit on it. Mm. Mm. Just to make sure she's all right. Because any idea, a, a bigger picture we have work for. Mm-hmm. In fact, she, she did a song. Somebody wrote a song for her. And thing. She did a song and wrote the paperwork. And um, they didn't come and say, I'm going to give her like 5% or some crap. And I was like, nah. Because she delivered the song the right way. I'm used to me write a whole song. I'm gonna get twenty five percent of the, the writing. It's really fifty percent. Me get half fight. Mm. I'm just like, yo, me can't do that and I look out for you. And I, even though I me write it, you know what I mean. But yeah. in the day, I think about your family, and your pension. Every I always remember that pension. Mm. So I have to think about your life though. So I'm, when I said that, and I was like, nah, I don't want that. I'm just like, yo, keep it. We get out of mine then. That a disrespect. Wow. But when I never work there again. Oh, okay. So, it, what you want? You want 100% of one song or you want 60% of 10? Okay, you're going to make the higher match probably. You understand me? Yeah, so, if, if you go on a too oh, greedy... More yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if you, if, you move to, if you move too greedy, you're going to stop your food. Yeah. Yeah. You don't really want to work with it because you don't want to share. Uh-huh. So, you get a one song, all right, go on where you go. Mm. But then you, you, you're good and you share it. People are like, yo, no, man. In fact, if somebody come and say, yo, no, I don't give me a thing, you know, man, say, yo, I don't know about that, you know, because one thing you know that we're better than maybe I share. Mm. You understand what I say? Mm. So you put out that, that, that energy then in the field. So people know, say, no, I'm working with him, man, at least I'm shared with you. Yeah, and then you get more business too. So even if you're not this yeah. one song, but the next song, and yeah. you take big on. And you never know why I jump off. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Kalia. That too. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what what <laughs> the biggest <laughs> thing you've learned from um, since working with Tony, you'd say? Um, hmm, there's so many things so many things even songwriting mm. um developing it and confidence that's a big thing really yeah it's strange it's like like if i do a performance everyone could be like it's yeah you did really good you did really good 
but it's like if Tony doesn't say it's lit. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually use, you sure. actually use those words like that wasn't lit. No, it doesn't, <laughs> no, it doesn't, it doesn't say lit. <laughs> yeah, and it's like I never, I know ne- I've said this thing before. I never felt like. Like, I know I can sing, mm-hmm. <laughs> but like he'll tell me if he hears me going off like with certain notes mm-hmm. and little things like that, I, I'm not gonna lie, I never noticed it before because yeah. I'm just singing because I love it, you know? Yeah. So confidence in a way that I've developed myself, I've, you know, I'll study the um, vocals and, you know, we try to get a vocal trainer and things like that. Mm-hmm. So now I feel like, more confident because he has pointed those things out to me so then I'm like oh. I've worked on it and now I know that so he's like your check and balance so he's the one that yeah. you go to and say okay you know like this good this not good and yeah. then kind of you know can I get develop as you said the confidence and reassure that oh if you, like, okay. you kind of know what he's going to say yeah okay yeah. Makes you sense. think that that has been more developed um, performing for Jamaican audiences if what sorry say you that? think that the confidence has been more developed for Performing in front of Jamaican, are you know we're hard to please? Oh Lord! <laughs> <laughs> are we that hard? I'm not gonna lie. I'm still developing it, and it's not really with Jamaican um, crowds. It's not really like confidence. It's more certain things suit at certain places. Mm. Any crowd is yeah, different. So you have to know what. Vibe. It, yeah, yeah. If mm. I'm gonna go to, I, I don't know, a corporate event, there's certain some songs I'm gonna do. There's a certain way I'm gonna dress. A certain way I'm gonna carry myself. Mm-hmm. And then if I'm going to like, a, I don't know, a road show or something like that, you mm. know, so the people them them different. So yeah, I forget in my different show because yeah. every you want everybody to enjoy themselves. You That's can't have true. one show on. Alright, I'm picking up more potter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hear it too. Yeah, yeah the first time we talk, I hear it sometimes, you know. I heard it. I heard it too. Yeah, when we, when we get comfortable, like, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're comfortable. That's oh, yeah. okay, Adrian. That's which lady we're doing. Yeah, <laughs> English, English. Yeah. Like your boss, why not anything like you? How, how boss, it, like you're why not anything and go and buy. And everybody know why? <laughs> no, um, no, no. I've never seen it perform so. It was, Oh yeah, man! Everything I vibe, just so yeah, I have performance online. Yeah. I'm looking to and all them something there, you know. But the of course, no, no, it's not that's a very album. strange thing. If it's very bus, cold if in England. England wine. It has, can lead to stiff waist and stuff. <laughs> no, but I've been here for some time. Also, the waist kind of kind of warm. Yeah, warm. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, but I'm gonna stop in a a little bit. Um. The thing we should talk about mm-hmm. with the Jamaican um, audience. The whole, no, not, not Jamaican audience alone, but the the, the, um, the notes and mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah. I feel like perfection mm. is a taboo now. Mediocre is just like okay, everybody feel like they can artist and everything, but who want to be superstar? That's the and same not question. Not just I superstar have. in a local industry, but superstar in the world. Yes. So what you gotta take to get this up? Uh, mm-hmm. You not build a regular. Well, then after you that, you have no, time to waste, right? No, nah, man. <laughs> more, more, more. Make sure say whatever she do can affect everybody around her, and her family, her mother, mm. her, 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 her father, her, her, her sister, mm-hmm. her friends, anybody where she go higher in our organization, it can affect them mm. in, a, in a good way. So you have to be like a superstar if you have that effect on everybody around you. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The little paper thing, uh, after it fizzles out quick. At sure. 127 to 1 now. So, <laughs> right. yeah, if you now do some rhyme sterling kind of numbers, mm-hmm. we uh, 50, 50 billion a week, though. Some mm-hmm. year. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Thousand pounds. Yeah, so <laughs> at that, at them thing, no matter how. If we now talk mm-hmm. about them something there. So after she done that now, I make her know this music is not going to be a legacy. Mm. Is what you do, like oh, before she tell you, so she adapt her school and she work. That will be a legacy. Mm. Like Shaggy legacy is Children Hospital, deal with wow. you them. It have the legacy, you know, the, uh, the, of music, the music, in the cause. Yeah. said it's so 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 wicked, but mm-hmm. that is a real legacy. Mm. You know, you find yourself that like in a tricky place, like even saying them things that to youngsters because you know when you said certain things like that, they say yo, just slow the youth, man, he might do him thing, you know. No, just low him out, make him go on, man. No, you know. Mm. <laughs> no, if you know me, you know, I'll tell you the, the, hard, the hard, hard truth. You know? mm. I will, from my point of view, and you can 
you have to come with have some good Counter. argument with mm. me because I live it. Mm. You see what I say? You, make, you can't tell me that I'm a music and I jump up and rare, rare, I'm this good. No. You can't tell us I make some classics and I still live off of it. Mm. You understand what I say? Yeah. And I can't tell us that 20 years down the line people are reading the, the classics. Yeah. And up to now I'm still current because people are reading my old stuff. Yeah. So what you tell me? Why do you think like there's this mode of media critique that I go on? Why do you think? Well, yeah, the whole uh, it's not this just Jamaica you know, the whole world. Mm-hmm. I think. But to I me, I find life, more in dance hall actually. It it everywhere man. People just it's okay just, with uh, being okay. It's just uh, yeah, we're dance hall community in the world. What twenty million? Think about it. Yeah, that's that's what plus Jamaica. Mm-hmm. No, so probably it, there. think yeah. about hip hop. 100, 300 million. Yes, alone no, at 300, 300 million. Yeah. So, the, so you understand why it look like yeah. it more so, yourself because yeah. it bigger over there don't make a bigger foolishness. <laughs> but, <laughs> but at that, but all right, yeah, they make bigger, on, bigger foolish, but a bigger skin. Yeah, if yeah. you look at um, who oh, just read about today we say stop the hip hop. Walker, Walker, Walker. Mm-hmm. Man, say make thirty, mm-hmm. and it's ease off. But I'm saying, okay, no foolishness in that way. Before, you just do it. <laughs> no, but you just do it. You see, I'm a grown man. 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 Yeah, it, I was surprised when I heard it. I'm like, you're just so 32. Even tell, even so tell yeah. Yeah. Keep it no, so that. Mm. Mm. Even no, I let it in the words. So that my goal. Wow. But is it like he was on a on a kind of way that said no reimaging because yeah. like he was a ve- like he become a vegan or yeah. vegetarian. One of them. Cheap on him. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like him, him kind of re- revamp himself. Mm. So I guess. It just the revamping hip hop never work with that, but I mean it's a growth. Yeah, mm. but you know the I you know we know him where they have some youth they pan kana 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 people say like, come up for the car right? and then just must find him purpose and all of a sudden in front of him yeah I see him mm. get a little bit of knowledge mm. yeah and get a little knowledge and it's growth. Yeah, yeah. It's true. You know? my question for you know like with the criticism you say you take it but initially was it hard for you when you know when you think that. I think I kill this, and then him come and say, "Um, that like a vocal or something." Must, there. Must feel hurt. <laughs> yeah, but the yeah, worst. Just shit on it right after. <laughs> like, you know, like wow, wow, wow. Wow. <laughs> God, just sink and yeah. drop. But you know, like once you get home and you, you deep the situation, you're like, you know what? Mm. I know he's not gonna tell me something to make me look bad. Mm-hmm. You know, so I have to just understand that that wasn't popping. Mm. So get it together focus on it and just cra- practice 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 and make it right yeah listen yeah, me not immune to it, it because we are work I think we are doing some Sean Paul stuff with our weapon and Shaggy our weapon album from Sarah Paul Shaggy album and years ago we said, yeah mm-hmm. we send some stuff to Shaggy and Shaggy so that I'm fucked <laughs> <laughs> really say, oh, oh my god, god. <laughs> And I realized that yo, we never come out of Sean the mode. Oh, you know, and so it has sound and a shaggy type so, of sound. Yeah. Sound and I have to reevaluate myself, sit back and so me, me understand. It I come never to the, find that happened to you before. It was just no, an instance. Mm. No, I never, I never realized that them mm. thing that happened. Mm. And when the shaggy said that, it come to realize that I'm like, whoa. Okay, so I'm gonna learn something. Mm. So every I'm artist is different. Move my life, I'm gonna learn. Yeah. That's always yeah. I learn, 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 learn. Yeah. You know, so that's why with her now it's constant with Kalia, constant to learn. Even when she do the road shows, mm. watch, 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 listen, mm. watch, watch, watch. I said, okay, I could change up something. Yeah. Mm. I could try something. Mm. Yeah, you have to. You You're constantly. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if like with the road shows, if um or any performance, if I see that. It wasn't popping. It wasn't lit. <laughs> <laughs> then I can't. It's really. I feel like it's only me to blame. You know. Mm. So I have to come back and think. Not necessarily neither. Mm-hmm. Yes, I know. Sometimes, you know. I I feel like, but You're I always live feel, critique. No, no, I always, <laughs> yeah, yeah. no, no. I feel like there's something <laughs> that maybe I could have done yeah. differently. Yeah. Maybe I could have. You're hard on yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You're, yeah. I think You're hardest judge. I could have done to. 
and then I want to go back and I, I feel like ah oh, yeah. I wish I'd done this I wish I'd done this is that because you know he is making it so hard on yourself I think I've always been but mm. at the same time more I get the it's his lit. approval yeah. <laughs> <laughs> alright right, right, no we'll, we'll go back to that mm. you see the the, the, the um the career we are craft for her it's not really conducive to the hardcore mm. that's true so, that's so if certain times she not get that lit response <laughs> don't lit. feel <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it 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 it. It. so if so, so, so she not get that vibe there mm. me can assess and be like no, you know, say so I don't because I'm the over them. Yeah, like too pretty. Mm. Like, they look at everybody else thing. Them, they go, oh, and this and that, white up uh, skin out black. And them, mm. like, them like that. Okay, another another year crowd is. Mm. So what? I mean, because you know, if you go constantly like, deal a crowd, yeah, they have some song we can touch, mm. but you can also or you introduce a song, mm. you set it up. So that's what shall learn. You now the next side. Yeah. The performance. Because mm. if yeah. you notice, most DJs at Jamaica now turn a real disc jackies. You know, we have a girl over here and go some try a tune. I saw them introduce them song and mm. them start them song on stage. Yeah. Them take up the whole MC thing. You know? thing there, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. like artists need to incorporate more of that too. They am them doing now. Mm. Mm. Yeah, them mm. doing now. Like I, we go up on the road with um, um, Actian. The Actian of the luck. Akin can perform. Bad, 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 bad. Akin can perform. Udo, um, Atlanta as a hardcore mm. crowd, and then just as bad as Jamaican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, well, oh, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can't in English. Accent, <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and then, and well, then I see that. <laughs> and then they, they do Ochi with a corporate event. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the man get the people nice and warm up and get them for broke out. Mm-hmm. And she, she go and perform. And nice. Get forward everything. And I was just like, yo, this youth is different. Mm-hmm. And the way I set up the song, them, it's like an MC, like a disc jacket. Yeah. So that's a whole different kind of performance. It's yeah. not just the songs yeah. and how you deliver it. It's how you introduce oh, man, it. That's yeah. the people but, but that's get what I like, and then touch a song. You're like, it's beer nice. Yeah, yeah. But seeing yeah. that that um the octane performance in the the corporate event, that's what I mean about sometimes I feel like there's something I could have done. When we went into that place, mm-hmm. I was like, oh my gosh, every. It's a corporate event, so everybody just What's prim that? and proper. Was it the stage red, is... red tie and stilettos? Red yeah. Yeah. Oh, there! Like oh, you went there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so everybody dress up. Well. Yeah, he believes that. Uh, why? Yeah, it's gonna be. People. I'm gonna feel like I'm at a talent show or some kind of. Yeah. Just, I go. Look. Yeah. By the time Octane come up on stage, everybody stand up. Everybody, people are them bring to a couple of sing and mm-hmm. yeah so that's what I mean I she just feel like I ha- have to learn <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah learning to move a crowd like we want going to one place where not like, not not a church let me not say that but somewhere where the people them stush mm-hmm. and we can't make them yeah, jump I think up church up and feeling. Feeling. Yeah, the, but church yeah. people can, can <laughs> jump up and up to you know. church people so, worse that, yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, no, no. Yeah. Go there. We don't piss off everybody. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you so you feel it. So it's just a whole lot of balancing act that you have to. But he's a good soundboard yeah. it's a, for it's you. It's a learning yeah. process, and and I'm learning also. Yeah. Because I was always behind the desk. Is that I've was never that been out in the thing behind the artist now? Was always behind the desk. I see a song, they go and go do it. Oh. So, oh, so she's a different experience for you. So no, yeah, she signed to be a mm-hmm. manager. Yeah. So no, out there with her. Mm-hmm. So no, have to coach her through this thing. Mm-hmm. So I'm learning, no most, but no uh, in the field, and I'm trying to figure it out. Like, oh, we gonna figure this out. Now. Oh, we gonna do this or that. So we had a drive. We do one in um, Ochi. I'm reaching Kingston. Me play by the whole thing in my head. 
the whole stuff I play back, I said that I should I go and go there and I'm saying, oh, you could have cut. Me and she cut the song, I'm saying, yeah, cut the song, I'm saying, because the people are into it. Yeah. Yeah, she saw it, God, because we had the crowd, I hear them. <laughs> all right, all right, um, cut. And, all right, I have to leave by, that's my time. I was like, what? I 10 minutes shop, and then I five. Like, you know, those hate that most, the intro more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I come off, I'm going to say, yo, what? I, she said, oh, the lady was at the front, was like, and she was like, I was like, yo, I was telling me she get. And then mm. the lady was like, no, no, she did, all right. I was like, <laughs> yes, um, yeah, that that yeah, because it was going nice. Like yeah, sometimes it can work in your favor, and you know, they leave them wanting more. Yeah, that's but, true. But like, like sometimes you get real out of groove, and then yeah. if you just yeah. have it just cut. So sometimes when I play a favorite song, and you're like, mm. play it some more, and then my mom is like, wee, and I'm like. Yeah. I'm mean, yeah, just a star wine. Yeah. 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 TV tracks and everything <laughs> set up on them thing. No, we have to learn. I said, I'm like, it's not used to dash that way. Oh my <laughs> God. Yeah, cause I get most of that already. Dash. No, man, the next one. A beer, a a beer, a DD, they're showing up. I'm attention span. I want to too long, man. Yeah, literally. A beer punchline. I need a need a bag of long thing. Dash that way. That kid. Oh, yeah, dash. Dash it, why? Dash it. <laughs> you know what I want to ask though, Tony? Like, is it like learning, like when you initially started, like who was your sounding board? Like who was the person that you'd go to, you you know, like could well, bounce um, idea off? Well, you have two different sides of it. Mm-hmm. When I started out was the engineering side. Mm. And um, my mentor was the great scientist. Them them invent the whole dub instrumental the dub mm. thing with king tobies and them days and then errol brown was the next engineer was bob mall engineer mm. so me learning a good great company mm. to learn from mm-hmm. from the engineer side the summer mix um yellow man blueberry hill mm. um fred mcgregor push come to shove mm. some big songs yeah what they did um, I think we win a them time they have a Jammy Award. When we have a Jammy Award, a Grammy Award, Jammy I remember, Award. Yeah. Win for um Till Shiloh. I think we win wow. um an engineer. That so I mean, we have that side there. Mm-hmm. You now the producing side now. When we start out, we just we always we record Steel and Cleavy or Sly and Robbie and them people. So we couldn't listen back to them mm-hmm. kind of thing. We have Jeremy and we have the bugger hot rhythms that we used to work with. And then, so my brother used to there on Penthouse. We used to work at Penthouse, but in the, in the evenings and stuff, we produce and work with Shocking Vibes. Mm. Mm. was just engineer at Penthouse, but then I'm a part of Shocking Vibes, mm. the production. So from the whole thing, them come back from Little Lenny, got a baggy, put on a come right down. You didn't know where you take, man, for all these songs to come right down. <laughs> you know, Sanchez, fall in love, and all them songs to come right down, are we? Produce. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like Tony do like reference tracks. Like him lay down, so I was like, yo, I saw it for yo, sound. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So you have an idea of what you want the sound. Mm. Yeah. I'm right. A lot yeah. of things. Um, I was going to ask like, you. Like, um, um, Puna and Tegra can write that. And, um, do we lay it down? No, Little Lenny, kind of. One of the easy, you them catch the, the song, right? So it's Beam you introduce slackness. <laughs> no, 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 I don't introduce slackness. I but joke. No, no, but you want no. No, for the song I'm right back then, I'm going to hear them. Really? Oh, I'm in a different like space. Like what? Uh, I can't remember. That's some of them be like, ah, oh, jeez. Wow. It's, yeah, man, it, 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 it degrading and. Wow. Yeah, I'm in a different space. My energy, mm-hmm. I can't take enough of them things. Mm. Like, when I hear something, I just start. Cross me, me just I just turned off. Mm. Can't listen to it. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Sometimes even the core them I throw me off. Like we're in a different space now. Mm. Like when you're old, say, Yo, what, what, yeah, what me that you use that hell, down there? Yeah, what the hell me that think about? Mm. Mm. Yeah, foolishness. You say you can't think of any right now, no? No, me that for you that for hear them and be like, oh gosh, what is I cannot believe it because yeah, we even know because they're considered classics now. Yeah, I but, mean, yeah, but can't I just can't think about it right now because when I leave from Shocking Vibes and start, um, Kelly's music, mm-hmm. and if you notice, Kelly's music was just it, most of the song was big enough, woman, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you know, 
Girl say, boy, you know, say, man, uh, style, blah, 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 straight down. Check it up, fling it up like you don't care. Yeah. With them girls nice and pretty full of with them, I greet them for the pier nice, you know? Mm-hmm. Even at the end, the shocking vibes. Because when we do um, cloak and dagger, when we do, when we write um, goggle for um, Tanya, if you listen to it, no man say, I'm right, I'm sleep, I'm going to 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 sleep, So I think we did start finding the formula, this, sir. When we write, so the Maglas, them comes in the champion, them come in. They said, man in Dr. Nagarun. Them sang that, be here, big up, big up. Them things that start jump off. I think I find the formula. That's why I keep, I just keep going. Mm. So them type of pre, they make your even remake, book check, book, book check. No, no, it's just, uh, this, uh, the 20th year, mm. people keep a writing and say, yo, you know, do we do bookshelf? Iconic, I mean, look back into it. The amount of songs where uh, get touched. People do work. I'm gonna say, yo, let me reissue. But no, Kalia in our camp. Yeah. So I'm gonna give her a chance when a whole school thing up here, the vibe. Mm. When it, because back then, I write most of the songs because enough people never know if you interpret the beat. Mm. For some reason, I don't know why my beat them just always hard for people to interpret. So I have to just write the stuff them and then them probably do the second verse and them get. Oh, where well, you wanna go yeah, with it, the direction. Yeah. Yeah. And me have some weird melodies in my head. Even though, that weird <laughs> melodies in my head. Uh, you know, you, you never hear that point and thing. And then Moodle's come with it and be like, okay, oh, you see where you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is it hard for you? Like, have you, the question that I wanted to ask in the, the start <laughs> <laughs> was the writing. <laughs> for the writing, like, when you write for, like, how many people did you write for, for one reading? All right, so, like, bookshelf. Mm-hmm. Girl say what is the first song I write. Mm-hmm. But when they give it to Shaggy. Mm-hmm. When Shaggy and Shu, they, they, they never sound right. Never realized, I mean, I realized, figure out how to write for Shaggy yet. A certain diction and certain groove, melodies and movements just don't fit certain people. Mm-hmm. So now I figure out, I'm going to like this, write for Shaggy. <laughs> Mr. Love, I love it. So, so if you go like that, if you yeah, like certain, a certain... Speak to yourself in other voice than when you're yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, so there's certain notes you can't go. Mm. If you go, mm. So I don't know. We can go. We can do that to that note. This. So we yeah. can make that melody for him. Cause it must sound like garbage. Mm. Up there, sir. Wow. So I was like, okay, here I'm. Um, all right, make it somebody else. Forget. I'll show you. It's bad. It's bad. But I'll show you. And let me get tanto mecha levante. Mm. That. Then I write. Um, I take my right. They port them. Second. The port them was written for Beanie Man. Oh. Wow. But when I done it, sound like Sean. Yeah. So then we give Sean and Sean come and chain up the verses and put the dotty here, the dotty. And then the last song from Bookshelf written was Bookshelf, be the one. Yeah. Yeah. And um, then we write, I think Jack it up. And then um, I think the lady saw, we write on it. I can't remember after that. So when you write for a man versus a woman, like how you get into that mind space? Yeah. Like when you write for a woman, yeah, like how? Just, you know, you, you know, you have some things. Uh, like all right, um, you have to get it in a mindset. Like what do woman say? Make <laughs> like a man feel like like I'm a right patcher, worker man. Mm. Mm. That I one know what my reference and everybody I laughed at the studio. <laughs> Drop the laugh. <laughs> you have to think like a trickster. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna say that. Think like Patra. I'm gonna say that. Yeah, man. When the boss man, what a lot of big people. Can we have sing the song? Yeah. I have a. I have a fresh song. And when you bring it to her, she's like, go your whole way. Yeah, so I'm gonna write the song and yeah, she just listen to it. Back to over, over a prior period of time, we're going to the studio and, mm-hmm. and then she just be like, yo, put it down. <laughs> Are you still right? You're right for Kalia? No, my girl. I give her ideas because I okay. want to implement more our, 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 um, her okay. personality and stuff. Because so. I'm like, how are you going to write for her now? No, I'm going to come like our, the first song we put a write up. Yeah, with Tifa? Yeah. yeah. This is my I'm favorite come song. I'm come up with the Okan mm-hmm. thing. And then, um, yeah, me and Tifa just write yeah. it. Okay. And then, so, well, like, what you, what you learn from him in terms of writing now? Like, how you, how you, um, mm-hmm. be more simple, mm-hmm. but simple. Not like, um, to like dumb it down, yeah, mm-hmm. but just so that more people can relate to it, mm. you know, because simple things people like. The less yeah. is more concept. Yeah, mm. yeah. I think that's the main thing with my style of writing. How I've been writing, like, all my life. That's 
the the biggest thing that I've learned. Mm. Yeah, just less is more. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, you, because <laughs> I'm like, can you imagine now, like twenty years from now, yeah, I said, like, ugh, what was I thinking with your song name, like? <laughs> You know, you ever get, you ever think what I want to say? Like, I think. No, she's not. I think she's not. No, you're not having a problem. Um, there are songs that I've written before, like before I met Tony, that I'm, and I've, I've been listening to them recently. I, I've listened to a few, and I'm like, what is this? Like, I, was I okay? It's like when you see pictures <laughs> of yourself. <laughs> 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 You know, when you see like throwback pictures, yeah. And, like, I remember seeing a picture of me with my first lace wig, yeah. And I'm like, What was that? What was that? It's mm-hmm. like that, and I think it's a growth thing, because yeah. Because I have grown, I've upgraded now, you mm-hmm. know. The lace wigs are different, so well, <laughs> the yes. writing technique, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to be honest, I don't know anything about it. Too much, you know, job, <laughs> too much job description, <laughs> 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 so my hands on me. You must look this way. You must yeah. look that way. No, no I choose my own way. No, my mom, my mom, my mom, my mom look until I say, ah. Uh, and she said, ah, outfit. I'm saying, I say, I grow out that outfit. I'm called for it. Really? The level. Yo, it's when you wear certain things, mm-hmm. there's so much levels, man. Yeah. Mm. You have to step to the level. Because remember, you know, you are give the, the fans them a fantasy, you know. Mm. Or the dream, you know. Them want to reach up there. Mm-hmm. They know I see them big star drive past them in a Corolla. Hey, hey. No, Nothing but I'm not trying to tell you. If I'm saying, I'm going to be like, they're not going to respect Ravi. that. And I'm thinking, they're going to they <laughs> search you out to see what is what. Yeah. You have to give them a larger than life thing. But isn't that wrong, though? No. Because, I mean, some people don't have it. And you're, because you're no, trying to say. No, but the, suppose then, they're in a reach. They're in a reach a level then. Hmm. Yeah, that's how we it... reach a level. We oh. start a step. Yeah. You reach a level. You have to step because you have to yeah. keep your fans in. But, yeah, looking to but you it's, like, it's yeah, also your persona, as in like <laughs> if if you're an artist True. that is that is singing um, conscious songs and you're singing about let's save the world and can you dress know let us not spend money. You can dress grounded. like that and you can you know. Mm-hmm. Um, that's not my style. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not singing about like making money and stuff like that, but glamorous girl I yeah, like to be girl. glamorous so yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah kind of, if you look on belly skin for sure <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you have Bob. to like not eat KFC any at all like well. <laughs> yeah, if you look on Bob if you look on Bob Marley yeah. career and thing mm-hmm. natural mystic and everything you see me like uh, Land Rover mm-hmm. Bobby love BMW mm. love him to take out Benz family I think but you don't see them mm-hmm. you know I see that outsider in life mm. it's, it's outside in public artist life mm. you know cause this is my gear so I hear me I have to just stay true to this way my gear the character mm. if you see that you might just get distorted and things right. are in the real but in real right. I'm like nice thing too we all like you nice just things just have to show you that mm. Mm-hmm. You know? And it don't take away from like even even if him drive the nice car, it not take away from the message of no, like some be connected. Get and be like, mm. oh, but in my real car, in my drive. No, what I mean, but him no knew how to separate. Mm. You know, keep that private life there, well private or whatever. Natural mm-hmm. mystic. Mm. Oh, is, is there anything that you see that new produ- producers are doing that you, you question and say, oh, well, why them, why them, why do that? Why? No, you know, mm. so I want uh, a point in my career that they get frustrated and question things and, mm. and pull back, which we shouldn't pull back, we shouldn't talk harder. No, I'm not really question anything because then I'm going to be a hypocrite. Mm. Because when I come up, enough people throw stone, enough people say, Ray, 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 Ray. And we never stop it. We just go hard, uh, same way. So mm. I'm not really question. If them come and ask me for stuff, man, yeah, I'm gonna give them guidance. Mm. Mm-hmm. Share information, share sounds, share anything. You know, I'll be like, yeah, man, do your thing. Frost, check me all the time. When real link, you little brother, not nice. You know. Frost checker? Yeah, man. The same just by reading him really. No, man. It's, <laughs> all right. I'm it's joking. Frost, <laughs> it's frost no. not nice. It's them two you there. Yeah. yeah. Them remind me of uh, DJ Khalid. Mm. Mm. You might them, just be right. Drive? Yeah. Remind me of DJ Khaled mm-hmm. and I love music so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a producer not have to play nothing, you know. That's true. I have to produce. Mm-hmm. 
put everything together. Get a trumpet player, get a bass player, get a drummer, put it together and for do it's that. just the sound, like yeah, getting the sound. Yeah, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. yeah. A beat maker that. Mm-hmm. You know, but if you can put together and put together some good songs. That's true. You know, Jordan Chimney records them that say all them you t- mm. put together some good good songs. Mm-hmm. What about the sound in and of itself? What do you think about like the mother mother dance or so? As I must say, um my sound different from everybody's sound. Mm. Mm. And them have the sound in them have, that's where them grow up and them get used to. Mm. From where um Steven did start uh, the hip hop vibe. Yeah. It take a beating, but you still can't get right. Like the under underbelly of everything now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. From Ragin King song go right up uh, underbelly. So if them keep at it and be true to it, eventually it'll break out. Mm-hmm. Because no matter how you want to rebel against it, eventually I'll be like I'm a woman still, you know. Mm. Mm. So you know, have like a purist mentality. Oh, this no, this no, no dancer. No, you can't. All right, that means uh, that means I'm. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, yes, uh, yes, everything you have to. That means I'm not just have a old man mentality. Mm. Mm. The old man on the line. Yeah. Yeah, you understand me? I say, ah, back in my day. Now, walk on the road, yeah, cause I'm used to sidewalk. I know sidewalk on the road, yeah. So I'm saying, now walk on the road, yeah. Yeah. Kids with the hippie the hops. Yeah. You know, no, no, no. I think if you were like that. I'd... It wouldn't yeah. work, no, yeah. because certain things, it's like you were saying about, is it strange for him to say things to like younger people to give them guidance? Mm. I don't feel any type of way when he gives me guidance because I know it's not coming from a, yeah, I'm better than you, and mm. back in my day. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's not. laughs> yeah no. but I think, um, and I've met so many people, that, a lot of people who, who are stuck, not just in music, in everything mm-hmm. you know there's people technology yeah. they won't use certain things because we don't need this and you know but um I, yeah everything evolves everything there's a new way of doing things yeah, yeah. So. so i mean it's not because <coughs> the question that i wanted to ask you because there was a question in the summer there was an essay in the summer that um dance hall isn't crossing over as it once did like you know like it was Dance and it's like song. one person them letting, but dance this year, yeah. The dance they on a rebellious stage, mm-hmm. really. And it just they want hard rebellion. Rebellions, one dangerous thing, you know. You know, massacre and bloodbath and thing. Nobody want to show that dance at that stage. They just aggressive and hard. What do you mean rebellion, though? What do you mean? If they're rebellious, like the youth, they never take no talk from mm. nobody. They must do what they want to do. The sound they want to do. They look on outside vibe it them friend are vibe it and the 20 million people are vibe it I'm good mm. Mm. no I hear nothing but it speaks back to you, you them accepting mediocrity and just being used to it so mm. when them reach to a level now when them either them all come to realize eh, if me not do some better song you know I have no career in this you, know? mm. you think that international you looking for saying? something though <clears throat> like you think there's a song or always looking at, hey Jamaica that one we of the only get... place in the world you now everybody want to be like Jamaica with mm-hmm. something like that you know? mm-hmm. I don't want to eat the food with the yeah. colour something you know hey just make it have just one eighth of Jamaica you know? yeah, yeah with Jamaica yeah man mm-hmm. them <laughs> fully yeah, so them always yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so they will go everywhere else you know right now Afrobeat run the place mm. the 90s dance hall is really pop music now it mm. is popular music now they, they, they are everybody right. have that as pop, you know, yeah. <laughs> everybody yeah. have that uh, everything mm. mm-hmm. Tropical the whole host. thing. Oh, you feel about that? Oh, oh yeah. sorry. <laughs> no. I'm asking several questions. Anyone? Continue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <my God. laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. It is is so the the hardcore dance hall now that's yeah. the kind of a, a vibe. Mm. And what happened now? You see, Afrobeat is a, if you listen, you have elements of it in the Afrobeat, but yeah, it's put for them undertone. And if you listen their stuff. I say Afrobeat is sing African Baba dance aggressive song. Thing, you know? mm. <laughs> they must sing vulnerable songs. Yeah. That's true. Oh, oh baby, baby, I baby, I love you. I love you. I'll be yeah, 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 that for real. Yeah, the same thing Drake, though. Oh, my, 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 the same thing Drake, the 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 Drake, you know, you, 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 have to, you, have to, you have to know if it, if it, if it ride a line there. Mm. Mm. You get over. But if you look at it again, we have some youth that come from the ghetto where I share a plate. 
with a youth dead for younger and then no man make a million Jamaican a week or a million Jamaican a month you can't tell them they're not rich mm. you, have, you understand mm. so no, now the, the environment kind of breathes that type of mentality so you can't tell them they're not that because they don't want to go back mm. Mm. that's all it'll work but, but, so, but you could get more but, you, know, you can't tell them that mm. Mm. but you can't tell the one who's open for one of the superstar mm. that's why not everybody can be superstar and Ain't every NBA true. player can make a career out of NBA. Mm. As, I, I think it's less than a percent. Mm. The same thing in the music. With producers, with artists, it's less than a percent mm. can retire and live off it. I think they think they need to ask themselves, are you okay with performing in front of 600 people or a stadium full of people? Like, 10,000. Yeah, 10,000, 20,000. Like, yeah, but them, they, the other day, up. Yeah, yeah Kranich. I feel oh. yeah. they're, they're okay Gosh. with them thing. Then, yeah, I because as I go back again and tell you, they're going to make 20 million. Mm. And them feed them friends and them friend them hype people them around them, you can't tell them so them now nah, win. Cause where them are come from. Mm. But they nah they nah look pan. Or them a look pan it, but them just not want to take a chance. A risk. A risk. For mm. God so you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Young team you done said to them say mm. Young team done said to them say a lot of them don't sound like the record. That's true. Cause a lot of attitude. I would answer to them say, invest in some vocal training. Mm. Please. performance training as I think yeah. that's that's get the vocal that, training first yeah 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 can you go up on stage and you start and you sound oh, mm. oh, I'm, but on a side sound can you not sound like you got the attitude not dead with you yeah exactly some and struggle that's why with her now make sure Kalia you know say you know, the wrong voice you use everybody have different different voice you know mm. you know you so one up. different when you're recording and sometimes one she go old. aggressive oh. yeah and then sometimes she have a voice or a DJ she have a voice a piercing so mm. advice sometimes she does some songs that are soft mm. and then but sometimes she had caught in certain things and then she just I remember yeah. naturally mm. but no it it, it come because it's, it's growing yeah so it is new for her to just you know if you be performing we switch from this to that mm. you know is a is a is a art you know in yeah. itself because i want to ask you too because it's like <laughs> i was watching the new edition story like when it come out this year and I always, I was, I was so impressed that they're not, they don't have a show. They're not performing. That they're not rehearsing to go on a show, but they're constantly A B C. I can't, and like they're always like in front of the mirror in the dance studio. Yeah. Dance like, do you take some of that to like you practice every day, even if you're not rehearsing, yeah, but you I'm, you, when I'm you practice. Singing, like you know, it might be in the shower, it mm. might be at home. Now I sound great in the show, by the way. Everybody, <laughs> yeah, everybody feel them. So you know, I'm telling you. Me and my wife say, "Shut up, <laughs> 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 I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, wait, what was it? I'll be at the end of the show. That'd be nice. You practice every day. You practice every day. <laughs> yeah, and like, um, even when I'm at the gym, mm-hmm. I'll sing on the treadmill if wow. I can. There's no one else. I don't want to disturb people, can mm-hmm. you say? Um, but if I'm alone in the room, I will, you know, run. Um, we used to run on the beach and sing just to. That is like Michael Jackson, Beyonce type. Yeah, of, I mean, I never had a show book. Yeah. But be your seaweed mushroom thing. I have thing. to be. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's it's so sad. We can't go. Up. What do we call it? Clarence. Fort Clarence. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. A, yeah. You want to break levels, you know? Mm. Yeah. True. So even if there's nothing booked, I have to be ready. I have yeah, to constantly be ready. We have, yeah. have rehearsals. Yeah, yeah. In rehearsals without a show book just yeah. to I think that helps, right? Of course, yeah. definitely, because I feel more comfortable mm-hmm. on the stage now. I can the first show, the first big show, um what's it called? Sun the Sun City um this is last year. Roadshow oh, audit, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I was Port out, the Port Morphist, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was out of breath on the stage. Mm-hmm. Um they started the, the band had started the first song in the wrong key, mm. but I just went along with it mm. because I. I Yo, she did it. good. Yo, my vex in the middle light, and then I say, "What will I You are find a note. Yo, you do good." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah. you, you recover. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it kind of threw me off. Um, so yeah, now we just say, "All right." I'm not forgetting shit because geez and you think said performing easy it isn't it's hard mm-hmm. to be jumping up and down and to to keep ho- holding the right notes and <sighs> now nah, do them something there so wow. yeah and and to come on the stage better as well because mm. 
it was my first time performing with a big on a big stage with a big live band like that. Mm-hmm. So, now who's your performing practice? idol? Like who? You, who's the person that you look to? Like Beyonce. Okay. Yeah. Well, locally, locally, like who you have access to? <laughs> I have access <laughs> to Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, Beyonce. Everybody has access <laughs> to Beyonce. <laughs> really? Yeah, she, she oh, unreal, oh, that's what I mean. I mean, she access. Yeah, so I'm tired of I don't watch her do that. Tell me. You tired? Can't keep up with that, yeah. but. That's the levels. Okay. When you, yeah, when you say runs, access, yeah, but, yeah, but, I'm thinking you mean like someone I can watch. I can't no, watch no. <laughs> I mean like you could go to and talk to like you know like. Hey. Oh, Tifa, mm-hmm. Tifa Bad mm-hmm. Pants did. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Um. Yo. She, <laughs> She bad party. She bad. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm That's why yeah. she's sick. Uh, Romaine Virgo. Some, she and capacity. she works. I'm like, I'm like, she works oh, doubly goodness. hard with her legs. Them too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I if I hear my not need goddess. <laughs> nah, I'll be able to. Them friendly. Them friendly. <laughs> and um, Romaine Virgo. Yeah. Uh, one you know singers are good too. Yeah. Not, yeah. He ain't panting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that blew me away. I was like, okay. And I obtained. I think everybody I've actually seen in real life, I haven't seen a lot of the artists in real life mm-hmm. actually see them on stage, from backstage, and in the kind of prep or whatever they do. Mm-hmm. Those are the three artists I've actually seen, and they've all really Killed impressed it. me. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Tony, what, what is it that you see in her that, that made it your sign in the first place? Work ethics, mm-hmm. yeah, and um, the, the want, like to drive. Like the first time, when um, Shaggy introduced to her, so uh, my wife is here, here, blah blah. blah. So I tell her to come down. And she fly herself down. Mm. I don't know if it's there. The mobile, and then she fly come to Kingston. So it make me sick. And then um, the next time I take her to the Ari can come in. She come in, give her something. She tried. She fly back, and she, and she come back. She go again, and then we had to show her a couple of times. She may get sick about three times. Mm-hmm. Come and try to break her, and she now nah, give it. She's like, yeah, man, you ready? She asleep. <laughs> try this. No, 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 I'm ready. Yeah, I can do it. She's like, what? Wait, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> so the, the day before she's supposed to leave, so it was like three weeks. She's, she's stay over. Mm. Miss her flight. Stay over, like two more weeks, I think. Mm-hmm. And then the night, the day we're supposed to leave, like three o'clock in the morning, I dropped over my cousin. I drive with her, stop at my gate, and find a verse, or write the verse and everything. Drive back up and say, Test my test, I know, and say, Yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot that verse. Say, Okay. <laughs> what a blow. <laughs> 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 you know, so I'm a little point, I'm like, Yo, she wanted, and then she's like, Yo, this work, you know, I'm, 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 I'm a savings, and I'm, I'm gonna come down and for six months rent somewhere and stay wow. and put my all in it I was like what? So I'm like alright you want me we'll get off mm. and she was like oh, for real? All right, I'll go up, get some clothes and come back in a month she said yo my cup on the way back I was like what? Mm. so no man I'm beside her man. she's serious serious about mm. that thing and you think she can be the superstar that we want listen so clamoring for you, you, you watch her Instagram <laughs> yeah if it it bad. If you ever if you ever see some some bra- hey, it, hey, it, read our uh, Instagram bad. Yeah, read our yeah, comments yeah. them. You realize you can't even understand enough of the comments them. Beer Brazilian and mm. and and Colombian and it's well yeah. put together and artsy and stuff. Mm, yeah. Nigerian, Guyanian, yeah. yeah. one about Chile. Every, yeah, are this a fair thing there? Mm-hmm. Well coordinated. It always sits a three. <laughs> so, yes, <laughs> I see like yeah, she have to do the block yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. What what? what the, <laughs> yeah, her response mm, like overseas her is like ridiculous. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, ridiculous. And she yeah. constantly get message like, please, please come here, come there. Please don't change. Please don't go slack. Please go and bleach. Please don't have a thing she get. Yeah. No, man, but big up to everybody. Yeah, everything she get. No, that way before them drama. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah let's say something about my life. No, no, no. Please don't, Nara. No, no, please. No. Don't bother no. DJ Trap. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DJ Trap. Don't yeah, bother. Just, yeah. just do me a favor. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, you got, you, have, you, have you ever been abroad? Like, you travel, you perform abroad yet? Um, with I Octane. In- okay. Oh, Atlanta. Atlanta, yeah. Oh, but States, now you're not reach Brazil yet. And... No, I'm not no, reach no, Brazil no. yet. Yeah. We kind of yeah. hold back on enough things. Mm-hmm. 
it's a building thing. You know, I should jump. Mm. Yeah. A different. Yeah. Way. Not a yeah. Yeah. I need yeah. to be. I realize still, like, sorry, like it's it's meticulous and stages. Like yeah. you set it. Yeah. 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 You're not really that trying level to. One. Level two. Yeah. Are you ready yet? Yeah. Yeah. And did you pass level one? Did you pass? Yeah. You know. <laughs> because you know, yeah. I realize you're not inundating us with music every minute. Like you see, you know, you you build it. You because you you promoted ride ride up ride up with Tifa for a long time, and I was like, okay, more. But you take your time and yeah. you, you give us more of the music and you make us get new seal and get yeah, used to the sound the fan base yeah and the, and the supporters and they might come and i appreciate them mm. you know? yeah man. nice so. me, my, my thing is me know from old school mm. my thing them to always take long for, for, for break all three four months me have a big a, a dj play this and play mm-hmm. and then you can't get it now mm. so me, me learn from from that that you know if you believe in something Steve Jobs never asked if you want iPhone, no man. <laughs> man, just throw that pain you know, yep. in the whole world. Yeah. So if you believe in your thing, you know, I'll go question it. Mm-hmm. If you don't believe, then why you come to me? Come sell me nothing. Come but you don't have that problem there. You don't have those problems. Like if you go yeah, to a man. producer, you can. A DJ, I mean, yeah, sorry. Man. Yeah, man. I love again, man. Yeah, really? You have to still you're sell? As, you're only as good as your last thing there. Yeah, man. I'm going to say, oh, the real, yeah, man. Legendary. Put that down. Mm-mm. I'm going to hype that right now. I don't something. believe. Yeah, man. And then something start jump <laughs> really? off. And you see them, 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 you see them in your DM, oh, uh, your right. email. I said, send back. I think they send me because some jingles. So like, okay, let me get it now. Wow. I don't feel no way. Because mm. I understand the business. Mm. Yeah. yeah you know, they have to eat too, and for them people are listening and the hype. So they listen to them. I mm. So I understand. We just know, say, all right, we'll soon catch up back with you. Mm. You know, I will send back oh. things again the next time and I'll catch up. All right. Uh, I'll say that again, we're not stop. Trust uh, me, we know them with them. We know them with them. <laughs> yeah, we're not stop, you know what I mean? Yeah. So and then now you say people from outer port, from UK, from wherever. I said, please can I have this? Can I get this? I ask her, and then I send them a plate. They're mm. Like, what was the difference? Oh uh, that of overseas quick, quick with yeah, it. Yeah, them jump up on mm-hmm. it quick, man. Mm-hmm. Jump quick, quick. Yep. Difference. Total difference. My final question to you though is, I don't think you, or did you answer? But if you think that overseas looking for a sound or they they're waiting to hear a sound from us that they're not hearing. Um, them always I look for the next one and come to Jamaica. Mm. No matter what we do, from athletics we are right up. Mm. Them always I look for the next great and come from Jamaica. That's just where it is. There there was a big thing. Um, I think DJ Envy. Mm. They said, I said, yo, what, what the next song? I mean, well, want a new song. Yeah, mafia mm. play yeah, 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mafia play 90s. I well, want a new song. Yeah. Play from Jamaica. Where is it, man? Blah, blah. I mean, I mm. said, but well, look how much song we have. <laughs> yeah. song. Right, but there was this boom in you know, like early 2000s that happened. Like, with yeah. Ellie and, you know, Capri, yeah. Sean, Sean Paul, Sean Paul, Shaggy. I think that they, they'd like to experience again. Mm. Mm. Yeah, man. It's. it's it's coming, you know. Yeah, I was just gonna say it's, it's coming. It's, mm. it's coming. It's coming. Like me personally, like. I like the sound mm. of Ragin King. Mm. Yeah, I like that. I like the sound. It different in yeah. you. Mm. Me just hope say, me hear him live on something. I was like, all right, hope him. Somebody tell him say, do some vocal training. Mm. Mm. I think because him have the potential. He does. Because remember, said let me lock him out. I'm never gonna give no try. Mm. I'm just doing one thing. I love that drive there. Mm-hmm. You can't hear them perform no that your passion. answer. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, I just if somebody just coach him, just you don't know, need to push him, just educate him on certain things, enlighten him on certain mm. things. Just say, yo, this might be good for you, no, this might be good for you. You know? And it's 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 a good vibe. That's on the acting. I feel like acting a, a turn the corners now where him have, him have a, him have, you know, so acting after the dancer side, I'm mean, a DJ and a singer. Mm-hmm. See the singer side, mm-hmm. man, have some song there. I have the hardcore and if you keep the crowd in the cars, I have the most of two side. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But acting is a, is a youth way, you know, I have the sound there where you can jump. Shensia, just one song away from take over the world. Mm-hmm. I feel like, you know. I feel to actually. Yeah, she just one song away, and mm. she's very talented. Cause mm. she's right, it, she's she's she right there in place. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's just not call for the type of song there right now. Mm. So she reach a level and she get the right connection. Mm. Gone. Mm. Conscience, me can't wait for for him do what he's supposed to do. Mm. Mm. 
Conscience is very talented, very, very talented. Mm, One of the most versatile dancer artists yeah, in the game. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I, I can go on and on with mm-hmm. them, you know? Mm-hmm. can go on and on with them. Even Spice. Spice is very talented. Very, Let's give us, very. Give us something more positive to talk to. Yes. No, no, that. yeah. It, things happen. Everybody learn from it. This mm, is true. You yeah. know, everybody learn from it. Everybody gain. <laughs> so. Things happen, you know. As long as we can be a big people and sit down and say, "Yo, no sir, I free you, you know. I free you do together." Yeah. You know. Quits. Quits. You know. Yeah. So, but as long as we can move on, because at the end of the day, we, me as producer, need artists, mm. and we need journalism. Mm. Journalists need we to talk about. Indeed, so. So we need for work. It's a symbiotic relationship. Yeah, it's a trap. <laughs> yeah, so you know what I mean. We just don't yeah. watch Venom, do I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. But but she should depend on that that the level. Eh? She is wait, in wait. her seriousness. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. My work with her That's before. I'm doing enough things. Yeah. Performance wise, I haven't seen her live. Mm. Like in oh man, in real life. I saw well, but, like on you know yeah. YouTube and social media, boy. She, I think My she's experience. great. Yeah, she comes she's great, man. Elephant man, man energy. Hey. Yeah, she's um, this girl. I keep great. up with that. Great, great. Ain't no fear saying them like a lot of them high energy. So they perform those live yeah. song after song after song. It, it take a great deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, so you have a whole heap of them, man. We can mm. call whenever I come. Um, 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 we love that vibe. Mm. Tony, Kalia. Nice. <laughs> you got your eyes. Give thanks for for passing through where people yeah, can follow you on social. Media. Looks like you done in a promo. Yeah, morning. link in yeah. bio. Yeah. <laughs> Kalia one hundred K H A L I A. That's how you spell it. One hundred. Mm. Um, just type that in anywhere. Um, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. That's it. That's it. Wait, is that custom made or no, <laughs> no, for you? No, I got it. <laughs> In a shop. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I forgot what shop. <laughs> you know when you ask someone, yeah, I, I know the shop. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> so yo, you never know. pay me for promo. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Once you pay me. Oh, your social media. They put social media like that. I really feel a page if you don't spy me. Be your share for your thing. Cause we come from the old school. I'm mean, gonna really need mm, a promo yeah. thing. I promote my artist, so mm. let's mm. use my page. So in, in time put up a one thing yesterday, I said, yeah, I put up something. <laughs> but you shall it. Oh, man, that's a promo. Yeah. Oh, I guess you're uh, like a picture of you and I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they'll be like, yo, whoa, no, no. Yeah, in five months. You're like, yo, yeah. big up, big up legend. <laughs> Like every year, every year, once a year or something. Oh mm. my God. Well, I told the CD Kelly everywhere. Mm. Yeah. You know, mm. T O N Y C D Kelly K L Y. I mean, from my own information, because I never see anything about Lila. Why, why CD? Like a super cat, you Uh huh. Yeah, we're up on tour in uh, Japan, mm. and um, I was doing the house engineer, recording the show and thing, mm-hmm. mixing the show. So we're traveling on the bus to go to our next city. And the show was playing. So Ken Booth was like, yo, um, let me hear the show. His part was playing. So I said, no, at the show that. I said, no, man, let me see that. I said, no, man, at the show, mm-hmm. I play. I said, no, man, let me see that, man. I said, no, <laughs> at the show. So I said, yo, I'm up to you, man. That's not a live show, man. That's not a CD. And the yeah. super kids, I'm up to you. You know, so I told you, CD, Kelly Big Station, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's like that's the kind of Never left me. I'm saying short, so like a CD. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. So it's bad. Yeah. Give thanks again for coming through. Yeah. Especially during these times. <laughs> Especially during these times. Thank you for having us. Everybody needs blessings. You know, yeah. from Jesus, right? Holy Father. Yeah. I don't talk much ever. What they get about each other? This is horrible. <laughs> As much does it. You guys yeah. will be fine. You guys will be good. Thank Amen. you. Yeah, man. Everybody fine, man. Good. As long as everybody, get, everybody is, go over it. Uh, this is um one of the platforms in Jamaica. I mean, we have on stage mm-hmm. um er. Emma yeah, will definitely I'll cut this out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Just a big one up here, right? God, all right, we're not going to All right, so say the next week. Say, say, say. This is one of the shows, you know, that I think as an artist and even as dancehall fans, we have to appreciate because, you know, again, people platforms to speak about their music and um, for people to learn about new artists. I mean, I'm sure I've gained some people from the last time mm. that you've that I was on here. People have found out about me that maybe didn't know me before. So, hey man, give thanks for Nightly Fix. No problem. And I'm um, proud of you guys for continuing it. despite you know, all. Thank oh, yeah. you. And you guys bring a fresh and a new, young, fresh vibe to it. Thanks. And that's, that's important. Mr. Charlemagne from no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I remember people coming. I'm like, no, don't suck farts out of women's asses. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> don't do it. No, I say, like, I say, I don't remember which. I might go. I don't know. I don't remember the movie or the show. But then I watch it. I said, "Man, I really need to run fast. We just need to run faster than him." So that's the thing. Like, I don't need to run fast. I just need to run faster than him, and I'm good. Tune in, head. Oh, 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 Give oh, thanks, it's yeah, much man. appreciated. Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, like man. the likes are the talk are you somebody well established and you are a younger artist, like these are the type of people that we will like hearing it together. Yeah. Like it means and I hope people them. take from learn from you. Yeah. And inspired well, by you. Well, yeah. yeah, I hope so. Come here, learn from everybody too, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What to do and what not to do, how to do, what not, you know? Yeah, so uh, as I'm said a wise person. Learn from everybody else's mistake. Oh, this is true. Yeah. Smart one, learn from his. <laughs> All right, people, I'm going to you. It's time. My artist is Tama J. O. Mama. With him, like an Afrobeat self. Yeah. <laughs> Afrobeats. You like the song? I like the song. Okay, here we go. Tama J. O. Mama. Everything you do, I love. Clearly, you're the one for me. Oh, mama. The way you whine and misbehave, I see that you have no manners. You come from, I need to know, mama. I see you all on over there, girl. Come a little closer now. Oh, mama. All right, people, so that was Tamo J. Oh, mama. I like the Afrobeat vibe there when I bring. Show that so we can double and do a thing in other sphere there as well. Is it me big up yourself, Tamo J? All right, my song now, all the way out of the motherland. Not really. I keep saying that to piss certain people off. Yes, Africa is a mile, and I know, but this artist is from England, and him named Cheziko, and a song named Control Me. Here it is. I make your wet up, wet up the chair. You say you are my queen, girl. You are my queen. You are the girl of my dreams. You know what I mean. Me make you wet like the ocean. Me make you wet like the ocean. So why in a slow motion? So why in a slow motion? Oh yeah. All right, people, that are Cheziko control me. Big up yourself. All right, people, that just about does it for the Fix Podcast episode twenty. I think I forgot to say that in the beginning, but yes, episode twenty. You don't know people, you can follow me, E-D-O-T-N-A-R-O. Join the growing list of Naralites out there. Oh gosh. It yo, some people are bad mind me for me increase and boost in followers. I want to <gasps> and point out to me. I mean, me, I say on the stage and it does love negativity so much. After me today, I pass Nara, you know. Nara in a one day get four thousand followers. You can do me a favor, suck your mother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Why would I take nothing serious though? Uh, yo, it's it's such yo. She said so neat. She really to have well neat. Man, I tell her like that's going to be a drop forever. <laughs> that we use. <laughs> that and 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 the one. It's yeah. a track. Yeah, that one a classic. I like your t-shirt. Yeah, copyrighted. Yeah, copyright. My copyright is who knows. Anyways, E D O T N A R O. Um, get me ten thousand. Oh, oh. I'm um, where them can't follow you on your boring page, right? Where? A R I H E M M O N D. Tell that again. 
No, come in, you have some Can't line up. Can you do me a favor? <laughs> Fuck your mother. Move on, go Move on, go Ah, uh, boy, get set up. It's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> You're not trapping. Follow us, people, across all social media channels. Instagram, Twitter, at NightlyFix. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash NightlyFix. And, of course, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash NightlyFix. And if you like what we do here, if you'd like to become an official patron of The Fix, you can do so at patreon.com slash nightly fix. Go there and see the several tier levels in which you can become an official patron of The Fix today. So that's patreon.com slash nightly fix. Go support the thing. Um, we'll soon start feeding the people them there as well. We're going to upload our, our interview with L.A. Lewis as well. I saw that he said that we didn't upload that because he called into the station and, and threatened to sue if we did. So we'll go upload that. I'm on Patreon for you guys, especially for L.A. Lewis out there. Yeah, I don't know which station you call. Is it the dead one? Is it is it the dead station you're going to call? <laughs> mm? I'm going to some, some gunshot. Can I have this stuff? All right. Anything else to say, Ari? Anything else to get off your chest? Man... Big up to people like Gage. He have a new song I'm like. like a, That's like one other it. person that, you know, yeah. that came on the show who we criticized after yeah. we criticized him. A yeah. week after. Yeah. Yeah. And we had a nice conversation. Yeah. He got some things to get off his, his chest, chest in that moment. So yeah. big up Gage. So big up Gage. Mm. a song I'm like. Say. Good boom boom girl forget. Hey. Good what? I'm not going to curse. It's a boom boom. Yeah. I'm not going to oh, curse. You're, because you're a professional. Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. You full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> My mother is not going to curse. You see use a, use a sarcastic little brute. <laughs> <laughs> My mother is not going to curse and so Patrice. does my dad. Okay? My mom don't like it neither. She, so she kind of cringe when we did the fuck part that ain't like, ooh, my my it's who we are, man. We're not a change for nobody. How we this? Anyways, people, give thanks for listening. Give thanks for watching. Give thanks to our guests again, Tony Kelly and Kalia, for passing through. I don't know the fixed podcast. We're gone. Kick out.